So we're all agreed that the scene where in in the Goofy movie where Pete gets out of the hot tub is oddly sensual, right? Like oh, oddly, it's not, oddly, no, it's oddly not wait a second, oddly, it's not oddly, oddly my Disney. Balls. It's Disney. It's default. They're always it's, putting that stuff in there. It is it's appropriately sexual. sexual. Yeah. Do you not remember the great, the was it the great mouse? Not the great, great mouse, mouse detective. detective. No, 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 no. It was the one with the two mice, and they go save the kid. Oh, in Australia. rescuers. How, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, you do you not no, remember the Lion the King? One. For God's sakes. Right. Well, there's that, but I'm talking about the first rescuers, the ones they don't talk about. Oh yeah. Okay. So not down <laughs> under. <laughs> Well, no, down under Australia is, that. is down under, which also has a very weird scene of a monitor lizard swallowing an egg whole. Yep, that yeah, right. I've never been able to remove from my brain, no matter how many I, gallons of bleach I've drunk. Oh it my was, god, I, it was I forgot, very specific. I forgot that there's a whole scene. Is there's like a whole 15 minute scene of a vor scene that's just failing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yep, yep. There's there's the artist thin, thinly veiled disguised fetish right there on screen. Yeah, we we have to make you you have to look, make man, this fucking here's suck. The, here's the way I look at it: if you could somehow get the things you're into on a movie screen, by all means, more power to you. Listen, yeah, I mean they made for uh, they made for 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 Zootopia. Why is my brain going Furtopia? And I'm like, that's. I was not like, are we trying to say Fern right. Gully? Like, so where were you going for, with this? For, for Topia is the Chinese right knockoff of, of <laughs> Zootopia. <laughs> Furtopia. Is that the okay. rat toying of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rat toying your panda? <laughs> <laughs> fucking rat toying. How dare you now, make me remember now, that? Now, I want you to. Okay, now, you're talking about movies that we. I wanted everything that I'm about into a movie, right? Okay? It's called Feet Explosion. No. Oh no! I'm gonna stop you there. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> thanks, John. We'll uh, we'll call you. Don't call us. All right, you will. Yeah. <laughs> Cut to a year later, where they're like, "Fuck, everybody's on strike." God, Do we damn have it. anything. <laughs> <laughs> You raise you raise a very good argument, but consider this link to wiki feet. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers don't lie, Frank. Are, are we are we gonna don't be, lie? Are we now good for YouTube? <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. When has the show ever been good for YouTube? Welcome to Halloween, boys and girls. <laughs> fucking Christ. So, welcome into the Unexpectables Ravenloft edition, everybody. <laughs> well, hey. Oh, 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 hi. Remember, the, remember the spooky time? Hi, guys. I guess. Remember, remember when we did that thing with the Monty Trust Us? That was a mistake. <laughs> that that was a mistake. Uh, Absolute buffoon. Ah, uh, the inmates run the asylum. Okay, okay. Hang on. <laughs> Monty trusts you. I just show up here. It's true. <laughs> she He's trusts me to bring the... in guests that she can trust, and thus. He's the guy with the pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and walking in while the apartment's on fire. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you stay? Why don't you stay? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! M Monty pushing us away from the show. Just, just that. <laughs> I imagine she well? comes back. Oh, that break was so good. How how did how did it go on your end, everybody? And everything's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Why do There's we have like... 3,000 viewers and all of their names start with the word foot lover? <laughs> oh no! Mm. Oh no! Hey, Crowler theme! That, that. <laughs> <laughs> well. Connor, help us. What an intro. Uh, welcome to Ravenloft. Uh episode two of this brand new season we got going on here uh let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves uh starting with mark allen jr where can they find you what are you up to oh crap um <clears throat> you can find me on twitter.com and on blue sky at mark allen jr on tiktok at mark allen jr va you can find me here on twitch at aeon pro tech gaming and follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on instagram at chonk for life starting tomorrow Dr. Stone New World is returning in both sub and dub to Crunchyroll. Uh, I'm happy to announce that I will be returning as Ukiyo Sionji. Uh, so, hey, if you like Dr. Stone, uh, we back. Check it out tomorrow. Watch it in any language you like, but watch it, please. It's fun. I like it. Uh, also, I uh, was able to just announce uh, the other day 
I got to uh, help direct uh, the English dub of a movie called Sri Asi. Uh, it is a wonderful uh, Indonesian film, uh, superhero style, like like Marvel style movie. Like the graphics and fight choreography is all very very cool. Uh, so check that out coming from Shout Factory pretty soon. Follow me on Twitter and Blue Sky for more updates of the like. I will be always talking about the things that I do until the day the internet dies. That's it for me. Right on. Up next, we've got... Cypher! Oh, shit. Okay. What are you up to? Um, you can find me at twitch.tv slash sci-fi. That's basically it. We're streaming <clears throat> over there all the time. Uh, there's a lot of games coming out end of this month. We got Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. We got Wars uh. of the Fallen coming out. <laughs> we got Wizard with a Gun coming out next week. Gonna be playing <laughs> that. That's gonna be fun. Uh, but yeah, I stream basically everything. I also run a couple D&D games, though they're probably on break because all of my players are going to TwitchCon! <laughs> Shake yep. fist angrily. Why aren't you going to TwitchCon? Because eh, I, I gotta save money for a car. <laughs> oh, fair. Okay. Fair and, enough. Uh, and they yep. removed the con to Vegas this year. So oh, oh no. Yeah. Not afford that. <laughs> oh, that's so that's so expensive. Oh. Yeah. So mm. I am taking a break from TwitchCon this year. You don't need that. You don't need that food money. You could just put that in a slot machine, yeah. right? I mean, there. You, you just go to Vegas and you win a car, right? So like, yeah, you just win one. Saving up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Uh, follow my Twitter at Cyfry TV <clears throat> if you want to talk to me about Mobile Suit Gundam. Ooh. Heck yeah. Up next, we've got Therapod Art. <gasps> That's me. Hi, everybody. It's it's your boy, Theropid Art. You can find me on Twitter, Blue Sky, uh, Fur Affinity, Tumblr, Newgrounds, Mastodon, uh, and Twitch. Uh, if you come to my Twitch, you can also watch the uh, me work on my funny little YouTube project, uh, Oversoul Spirit Spark. I'm throwing together a funny little weird animated comic cartoon thingy, my bob. It'll be out sometime in a year or so. I I don't know. I don't want to give an exact deadline yet because deadlines scare the shit out of me. But uh, but yeah, working on that. So feel free to subscribe on the YouTube for that. Uh, commissions are open. So if you want me to draw your D and D character or your furry character, or you want me to draw them fucking each other, I can do that for the right amount of cash. <laughs> I <laughs> listen here. <laughs> I, I, I gotta work it. Shut up. Uh -huh. um, you can also find me on this channel on Saturdays as well for Gobtober. I'm playing Anura. Uh, the first session of Gobtober was a fucking riot. Y'all need to go watch the VOD. It was great. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's kind of it. That's all I got going on. Crap, I totally forgot about Gobtober. Sorry, Connor. I'm on that too. Go go watch it. It's funny. It's, go. it's I, pretty I funny. I get it. Oh, my foot. <laughs> Oh no. Feet? Are you okay? <laughs> feet? Did you say feet? Feet wiki up? It's that first fucking note of like Goku just like. <laughs> <laughs> Vito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got this Twitch channel idea, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zeno. All my socials are on the about page. It goes to everything I do. Uh, uh, I Your boy has been hit with some financial wo woes, so what do I do in response to it? You remember, uh, you, you all like hobos, don't you? you, you yeah, you all know. You, you like you like Task and that one thing I did. Well, now I'm, now I'm making girl versions, and they're all going to be different and shit, and they're all going to be sold off as design adopts. I've been doing that for the past two days. It's fun, actually, and now I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting my financial woes in order because of it. So uh, if you go to my uh, Twitch stream... Uh, when I'm not doing indie games or playing carts on weekends and whatnot, uh, I have been drawing them on Twitch, but then you must join my Discord, for I have been giving my Discord 
firsthand, like, an hour to, like, get dibs on them before they get sold off. Uh, but, however, I would also invite you to join my Discord if you, like, like I said, all the socials are on my About page on Twitch. If you join our Discord, uh, I've actually been putting up all my homebrew stuff I can't put up on DMs Guild on there because, uh, lo and behold, Discord actually now has given people with servers options to make storefronts. So now all my what? digital, like, PDF stuff is actually being put up on there. So Great. now you can buy that stuff without having to, you know, be beholden to a Patreon uh, sub. Wait, really? I should look into that. Yeah, yeah, it, it just came out, like, yesterday. I put up two PDFs. So... If you want a uh, partner thing, or is that just like a new feature? It's a server thing. Like it, as long as like people can buy subs to your Discord, you get this the storefront option. Huh. So if you ever wanted to pick up something like I don't know the Wedlock book, which is just basically, hey, do you want to like actually fight alongside your spouse who is also your Warlock patron? Then fuck yeah, let's do it. It's gonna be fun. You get that. Uh, you can get that, and you can get some Halloween-themed races that I have created, like, uh, like, mu you playable mummies, playable eldritch abominations, and playable pumpkins. Hmm. Stroke speared thoughtfully. And that's me. Excellent. Uh, up next, I believe we have... Edward Bosco, DM Extraordinaire, where can they find you, and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco via on both Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. You guys pretty much know what I'm up to. We talked about it already. I'm just really excited to get back into Ravenloft. Like I said, it's either going to be one of the best years I've ever run or one of the worst. I'm trying new stuff, so we'll see how Session 2 goes. Hopefully they survive. Mm -hmm. Get your bets in now. I feel it. Uh, I suppose that just leaves me. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, near the end of the month, I'm going to be doing a stream that I've had in my head for the longest time. And I'm finally pulling the trigger on it. I am going to play uh, Alien Isolation. It'll be my first playthrough of the game. But every time I die... I add another layer of one hour of silence, but it's interrupted by a sound. I can't fucking wait. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, you gotta get the Pikmin one. Yeah. The one where they go, Pikmin! <laughs> you gotta get that one. <laughs> There's I, one I, with Michael Jackson noises. There's one with, like, the Taco you, Bell ding. If, if they give you... I'm oh, gonna I'm be sorry. crawling through the vents, and, and all of a sudden, I'm just gonna get jump-scared by... <laughs> Do you, do you want the do you want my my Discord intro sound effect the fucking eh! <laughs> that screaming into the side of your ear? I, I think I'd shit myself if if. <laughs> oh, then I, I, I have I'm, to give it to you then. I'm anticipating that definitely. <laughs> that is happening tentatively on the Thursday before Halloween. Uh, so be on the lookout for that on my channel. Uh, other than that, we're playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. We're playing. Uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, I think the next stream will be the last Human Revolution stream. We don't have much game left. Uh, so we'll be finishing that up and then we'll be moving on to Mankind Divided, the game that I actually have not played yet. Other than that, however, uh, check out my DMs Guild, uh, where I make 5th edition homebrew content, including... Uh, all of the subclasses I've made and the uh, recent spellbooks that I've made, the elemental spellbooks. The Fulgermancer spellbook is in production. Uh, currently still working on it, but it should be out by the end of the month. I'm hoping. Uh, that's it for me, however. Uh, this episode was brought to you in part Bye, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Wow. 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 Listen to that. Woo. You can do this with them. Listen to that. That's right. Just always just wanted to do that with them. Just, just head bangs his fucking head right to the dice. You can do this with them. Oh! But, but. <laughs> Don't eat them. Don't do it. 
no matter how tasty they look. And they do look tasty. Don't they get do. us wrong. Uh, but you can head on over to dieharddice.com. Use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order uh, whenever you purchase anything off of dieharddice.com. Uh, as well, uh, check out our spring store. Uh, we've got some brand new designs out, including the walk out design. It could be a t-shirt. It could be a water bottle. It could be a mug. You could put it on a whole bunch of different stuff. And it's available now at our spring store. And we'll be having some more, uh, designs out soon. Maybe one even gateway themed. Mm. Mm. Who knows? Uh, but that is in the future. And... This is the now. Uh, and we couldn't be here in the now with you without all these bits and subs generously donated by our community. Bits, bits and subs from people such as... Come on, stream elements. Give me the goods. There you go. Magic the Ninjago, thank you for the 35 months. <clears throat> Boo. Ah! Ah! Jesus. Jeez. Don't do that. Uh, Matteo Bao, thank you for the seven months of Prime Savage. Z Man Stardust, thank you for the uh, 43 months Ravenloft Spooky Time. So excited. Good luck, everyone. Protoss103, thank you for the 43 months. Time for Bosco trying to be intimidating. Dragon. Excuse you. What do you mean, try? <laughs> And succeeding. There is no try. There is do or do not. I will accept if you don't think I am, but it's either do or do not. Indeed. Uh, Scat Flipsa, thank you for the 29 months of Prime. All right, boys, let's have a fun session. Keep it clean, y'all. Uh, this is the Nuke Mizana. Thank you for the uh, uh, 10 months. Only 10 months. Eh, it'll get longer. Wish y'all luck. Not Dante42, thank you for the 42 months. Wait, hi, huh? What day is it? 11! 11. Callum Draws, thank you for the 25 bits. If a werewolf multiclass into a cleric, would they be the Lycan Pope? Only if they were the top we have We have to stop this. No, we can't acknowledge it. We have to stop no, this no, insanity. No, no, there's some, there's no. Some... I there's some Bos legitimate Bosco, conversation around that one. Bosco, I, I would agree with you, but I have to give that a plus one. Yeah. <sighs> it's a good one. I have I have I look it, it begrudges me, but I have to. Them's the break. Well it behooves me, so. Do you get it? Hooves. Like, yeah. a, like a cow. <laughs> Minus feet <five>. aside. <laughs> Zilban, thank you for the twenty nine months of Prime Subage. Hey y'all, any NPCs in this game you want to smash? Yes. That is that is not my priority right now. I need to live. Um, I would like to smash the pumpkin king, but not in the way you're Fuck thinking. Fuck you! That was my joke. Mm. <laughs> I love smashing. Sorry, Zito. I mean, you can roll a charisma check. Not the way you're thinking. I How do you think I'm thinking? Pumpkins. Thank you, Cypher. Volk five five one. Thank you for the seventeen months. The dang master. Thank you for the two years. When I entered the stream, the first thing I did was hear Foot Lover. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, feet. <laughs> Your toes, hand them over. <laughs> why, why, do, why do I have to be the one to fucking try and sound like him? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Doug up 40, think of the 100 bits. A weird question. How would killed by a quote unquote mad cow affect the betting pool? Oh, I see what they're saying. That's not really for us, is it? Yeah, that, that's not that's not an us an answer. We can't do that. Can't do it. Go talk to the betting pool, peeps. Masamune84, thank you for the 33 months. Hey, Bosco, once again, thank you for DMing Ravenloft. Thank you for watching Ravenloft. Are you kidding? I can't do this if there's no audience. Well, I could, but it's not nearly as fun. Yeah, I wouldn't be here if there was no audience. Wow. 
Thanks, Mark. You're, you're, I'm just, you know. The, the, guy, the guy who spent a fucking decade at a table with no audience with me won't show up for my shit. I see how Yeah, it is. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, t- just today you've had enough. Yeah. This was the last All right, guys, you might want to change the odds. <laughs> Uh-oh. <Brent. laughs> Lord Servitor, thank you for the 42 months. What's, I was going to make the first roll a random roll, but maybe I'll just make it a chosen What's why Hecate is AC? Hmm, okay, all right. <laughs> Was a thirty hit? <laughs> <laughs> What's your AC? It's not enough. You. How do you, how do you want to do this? He looks in the mirror. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Turns on the camera phone. <laughs> All right. How do you want to do this? Well, why, Hakeda? You. <laughs> Brotoss one hundred three. Thank you for the one hundred bits. The return of Doctor Stone. Can't wait to watch. Uh, Trav Nogard, thank you for the 26 months. Just finished up last week's episode. So glad to catch this one live. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 43 months. Odds incoming. Awesome Link, thank you for the 24 months of Prime. Two whole years, time for the Ravens to loft. Wham. Chahal and Froggy's mom, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Foot Lover sixty nine. Oh, we we are indeed out here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh fuck! That account exists. Holy shit! Okay, so now, Monty, now Monty, now Monty, now <laughs> Monty. In my defense, I just got you like five more dollars bezos bucks <laughs> let's be real she's not lying. <laughs> let's be real <laughs> holy shit uh oh. callum draws thank you for the five bits the synth music is making me paranoid not gonna lie the, the jazz is making you paranoid oh no you didn't you didn't have it on for like the first 30 minutes so i was playing something else in the background oh gotcha yeah i i realized the volume was all the way down on the song so i'm like oops uh, just another clone. Thank you for the 39 months of Prime. May the death pool fail. Oh, speaking oh. of the death pool, uh, Burnout Vaughn with the 100 bits. Week two in full swing. We've got a cow to find. The odds are as follows Sci Fi and Mark stay at five to one odds because I refuse to get into smaller odds than that. Zito and Connor are at 10 to one, while Pharaoh sits at 15 to one. But with the party's tank gone, the TPK starts closing the gap at 25 to one odds. Will the party survive, become our favorite spooky found family? Or will Grim Harl be the only one to survive this year's death pool? And right now, there's one bet on every player in the TPK. And we're... We're still getting bets in. Damn it, Twitch. (laughs) He had to break that one up into two different messages. Thank you, regardless. An acceptable name. Thank you for the 42 months, and thank you for having an acceptable name and not... Foot lover sixty nine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we live in a fucking society. We sure fucking keep, really keep your fucking foot fetish it. ten thousand feet away from me. I mean, listen, we don't think shame here. No, 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 <laughs> no, you can't <laughs> yes, Thank uh... you for picking that up, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Who gave them a number? <laughs> Constable Mutton, thank you for the forty three months. Mark, I, I- love you. I love you too, Thero. <laughs> how, how how cooked would you like your Grim Harl steaks? Not at all. Not medium. at all. Uh, <laughs> Why did I answer? Medium. What medium. the fuck, Zito? <laughs> preferably yeah, wow. so, preferably so raw that it's still breathing. Uh, Why does this character sheet say Guga meats? Oh no. <laughs> oh. I, I can't believe Strahd is going to raise aloft his butcher's knife and he's going to look at Grim Harl and say, "Let's do it." <laughs> <laughs> And then Butt Rock is going to play as he fucking fries Grim Harl alive. Dude. Well, after uh, all. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Morse Randor, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Uh, Morse Randor, thank you for gifting the one, uh, 100 bits as well. Have a great game, you guys. I found internet in the middle of the mountains. I don't know for how much longer. Remember to remember what <laughs> remember, remember to what? what the woods the woods got him <laughs> always no. remember at least he didn't say candle jack that would have been really hmm. damn he's, up his game. Game. he's taking him in one now 
<laughs> Mad Tom K, thank you for the 100 bits. What does a werewolf need when it's trying to keep believing, like, and hope? Aww. Minus That's two. wholesome. I'm and okay with it. And on the opposite <laughs> spectrum, Callum draws the 10 bits. Is werewolf... Uh, is a werewolf was feeling bummed, would they liken Mope? Yeah. Minus four. But it's okay, because eventually they'd liken Cope, so... <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty liken dope. <laughs> yeah. I, the, the, the fucking... The negatives are in the scale. The IRS is on its way. Holy shit. We it, should let okay, Connor Zito. finish, because I'm liking Stoke to keep going. It, it's uh, well, okay. That's, that's Zito, it, Zito, here's a liken rope. You can do with it, I do, please. No, that is all the bits and subs. I would prefer if you like and don't. So... Fucking howling over here. Uh, I would prefer if you'd like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like that, we've oh. reverted back to just neutral zero. Yeah, Hi, YouTube. Back. We see you. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> All right. Well, then let's uh, not waste any more time. Do, 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 do. And hard stop. All right. Perfect. <laughs> so. When last we left our here, no, I'm just kidding. Who would like to give me a recap of what happened last episode? For those of us who are tuning in for the first time, perhaps. Anybody? Bueller? Hmm. I mean, I can give it a try. Give it a shot. I believe in you. Or you can do it, Zito, whoever wants to flip a coin. Zito, if you want to, go for it. <clears throat> I'm going to just do it like Rafal would do it, so don't Go you ahead. mind me, I, I guess. Mm, yeah. I mean, even better, we're, we've got a trend going. <sighs> oh, when last we left our heroes, I suppose is the way to call them. After finding themselves outside of a precarious situation due to a necromancer, the dashing young hero known as Rafal was sequestered himself right into the middle of a who knows what with some sort of necromancer he's been hunting this whole time. And now, with new companions in hand, one of them appears to be missing. A giant cow woman, I believe her name was Grim Harl, or some such nonsense. But with the power of motivation and friendship by her companions, and, well, I have a job to do to make sure that the Raven Queen is satisfied. Death must be kept in balance by all means. We decided to separate the party for whatever godforsaken reason we believe that was a good idea. To go in search of their companion in the middle of a lighthouse it felt like a trap, but it was all we had to go on. After fighting a deluge of zombies and undead, we clambered ourselves up the lighthouse only to discover that it was but a ruse. Our cow friend held up on top of the tower was whisked away and we were given another cryptic note stating that we're just on the tail of some sort of sick little game that the countess of the whole entire region is holding do we proceed to follow do we have any new leads well i believe that's what today is for well first of all i am just happy that both you and Thero have decided to do it in character as a recap i appreciate that uh so the only way I could possibly reward that is to tell you that why don't you go ahead and pick one saving throw to be proficient in tonight? Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Ooh, Let's yep. see. What do I suck at? Yep. Mm, bup, 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 bup. Pick carefully because you got a couple of choices. Constitution, please. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll see if that helps you out tonight. <clears throat> All righty. Good choice. And I can already hear the odds makers changing the odds. Let's see. Let's get you some ambiance. That would be nice. Where? <gasps> Tish, that's oh, French. Where? Aha. To he, to ha, to who. Ooh. And since we were there last time, let's bring you back to the lighthouse. So as Raval so eloquently stated, you guys had just found out that the... Spectre that was Grim Harl, now having disappeared into the ether, was left behind with but a note letting you know that it was indeed as you suspected a game, a trial, 
a distraction to get you to chase after what you thought would be your compatriot. And as you all stand on this lighthouse, kind of looking around, having read the note, uh, I am going to make a roll. Um, Yahoo. Oop, I already screwed up. Uh, cool. Excellent. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, um, Theropod. That's me. What is your total hit point number? Uh, I believe it's somewhere like in the... Golf. Yeah. Do, do you want my current hit points or max? No, your total, your max. My max is 45. All right. Uh, everybody watches as... Ray Cool drops unconscious. Oh shit! Oh. Immediately to the floor. Let me let me help you with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, as you all notice him, just completely go limp and seem to fall, seemingly out of nowhere. As you look around, trying to figure out where it could have possibly come from. Uh, why Hikeda will instinctively grab onto him to keep him from rolling off the roof, and then sort of take a defensive posture over him. Mm hmm. What would everybody what else like to do? Oh, your that? lizard friend. Your lizard friend almost did a flip off the side of the lighthouse. He's fallen. Um, Kapnos will look around frantically. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Here I go. Ooh, it's not great. <clears throat> oh, it's coming though. Eleven. Uh, you see absolutely nothing. Uh, and as you are kind of looking around, Ray Cool, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. As you are is he unconscious. Stable, by the way. Uh, you would have Maybe to check him to see if he's stable. <laughs> That's oh. a two. Uh, excellent. Uh, I think it was. Yes, it was. Uh, you take one point of psychic damage. But he's you are... already unconscious. Correct. How does he uh, take more damage? <laughs> would you like to check him? I would like to check him. Okay, give me a medicine check. Natural oh, 20. Natural 22. Holy fuck! Well, why, he's a why he's a lizard? Why Hikeda is fucking done? <laughs> well, She's this so done. I was going to say, this was a mystery until you decided that you're just going to figure out absolutely everything. So first of all, the first thing you're able to deduce rather easily, because the DC wasn't super high, is Raykul is asleep, uh, which might answer your question as to what was going on. But then you continue to analyze, and you don't just stick to the physical world. You start to reach out into the arcane. And what you realize is not only is he asleep, but he was put to sleep specifically by the sleep spell. Seemingly a very powerful sleep spell, as you know it to be a rather basic spell that is often taught or learned by newer wizards or sorcerers. This seems to be a much more advanced version of that. Someone has put him to sleep. Uh, Magically. As you come to that realization, Raykul, you again, as you're unconscious feel the prickling in your mind like something is again trying to dig into it it's a similar sensation that you felt when you were asleep on the beach and i need another uh save but this time a constitution saving throw oh ah, i love you roll um, 20. That's a well five. rolling rolling low as i'm doing tonight uh that is another one point of psychic damage as it seems like something is trying to get into your mind mm -hmm. um what would everybody that is still awake like to do as you see ray cool sleeping I think I've already had my action for this particular. Yeah. Would anybody moment. else like to do uh, something? We've had cop nose search. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I guess I'll wake him up just like All vampire right. strike. Just grab him by Excellent. like the shirt, like just like shake it's him like awake. when yeah, it, shake him awake because it's like that situation where like someone who clearly has no fucking like natural instincts when it comes to animals is holding a lizard for the first time. And he's like, it's like shaking him, <laughs> yeah. trying to wake him up. Uh, Ray Cool, go ahead and give me another constitution saving throw, but this time it is with advantage as Revolta's trying to assist waking you up. There. Okay, okay, there we go. That'll be an 18. 
Uh, and as you kind of feel that pressure in your skull, you feel your eyes open up and you see Raval standing over you, still shaking you. Uh, whoa, 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 what, what happened? Whoa. Oh, he gets. I actually, it actually worked. Hmm. Huh. You've been assaulted by a sleep spell, friend. People can do that? Just magically put you to sleep? It's more common than you might think. Huh. Uh, and as you say that, Waiakata, the other thing that you would know, because of your natural 20, I will give this to you. You know that the general range for the sleep spell is about 90 feet, which means whatever did that is on this island with you somewhere. Or at least it was as of a couple of seconds ago. I have a question. Yes. Uh... So we just went inside the building, right? Like, and it was just hollow inside. There was like nothing there. It, yeah, it was a very basic lighthouse. There was like a table where somebody might eat that was manning the actual lighthouse. It looked like somebody could live there. But as you went up the steps, it was just those steps that led to the top. And then you guys, mm -hmm. you and Waihakeda, are specifically at the top of the lighthouse where that glass can open up and you can access the, the actual light. Hmm. I, I lean over the side of the tower and I shout down to them. Could a lot of you check inside to see if this lighthouse has a basement? That was down okay, to... Okay, uh, fine, top I'll no, do it. Top no sci-fi. <laughs> You've <laughs> twisted my arm. Yep. <laughs> While that's uh, going on... Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Kopnos, uh, on on a whim... Is going to he's he's going to send his echo inside next to right. Brand, but he is going to walk over and he's going to check the boat. Okay, uh, how are you checking the boat? Are you just looking at it? Are you doing? Are you smelling for something? Are you going to physically go over to it? Um, yeah, I might as well go over and, and, and physically look. Okay. Uh, and you're just going to search in the boat. It, as you're looking around, you can definitely tell as you're like padding around, there is nothing in this boat other than the, the oars that were used to get you over here. Mm. May I do a smell check to see if I can recognize a scent that isn't one of my compatriots? Absolutely. Go ahead and, and that will be with advantage if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then I will. Survival, right? Correct. Or is it? Uh, I will let, because I think it's perception checks that you have the advantage on, correct? So it's tracking checks, which I believe are survival. Then I will give you survival or perception, whichever is higher for you. They're the same. Well, then dealers. <clears throat> we'll make it a tracking check, so I'll cool. do survival. Choose the form of your law. You <laughs> 17. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stay puff marshmallow, uh, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you kind of uh sniff the air you're not able uh, able to identify exactly where it is and pinpoint it but there is something other than the rotten decay of the zombies and your compatriots that is in the vicinity but you can't exactly figure out where but it was or is here we are definitely not alone something is on the island All right, I will search the inside of the lighthouse. Okay. As you Find go into Brian the... Cranston for some reason. <laughs> yeah. as, as you as you enter the lighthouse, you could see as I described there seems to be a small table, there seems to be a living quarters that somebody could feasibly live in here with enough supplies. But as you notice the staircase going up, you do see that it does not go down and there doesn't seem to be any latch or cover, at least on the inside, that would allow somebody to get underneath this lighthouse. Okay, so there's no, like, obviously, like, passageway that we have not explored in here. Correct, yeah. It, it, it would either have to be a staircase leading down or some kind of hatch that somebody could go down into, and you don't see either. Okay, Bren gives up. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately just done. Yeah. Dude, dude. We've so explored it, all possible yeah, it's, avenues. It's just it walks in the door, looks around, shrugs, walks back outside. So we're on top of like we're on top of the roof, yeah? Correct. Can I move here and like look around perception yeah, check? Yeah, give me another perception check. Yeah. For any fuckers that look like they could they could fuck cast a sleep bitch. spell. 
Secret bitch. Secret F butthole. Ro I'm not gonna roll anymore today. <laughs> would you let, Get would your fucking dice. dice. There seems to be a fog. There, yeah, <laughs> there seems to dice. be a. Yeah. There God. seems to be a fog layer that's rolling in that obscures your view as you look out into the water. God, we can go home. Shall I take a shot? You are more than welcome to. As long I as am, it's not at me. Mark, I am home. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god, oh my god dude. That, you know that, what? You know what? A negative. I'm, I'm, I'm charging my dice right now. Here's, this is here's what you. So I, you know, the natural one actually might help you in this situation. You notice that the fog layer seems to intensify as you look out. Almost as if something knows you're looking out there. I got the render distance all the way down. Well, I <laughs> yep. I well, I have it's good crazy. news and bad news. The bad news is I can't see a damn thing. The good news is it's artificially made. Someone's trying to bar us from seeing outside. Wonderful. We're not out of the woods yet. Great. Uh, wait. None of us are magically inclined to help in this particular situation, are we? Hmm. Not Bosco? Not, not unless yes? Are there any animals in the area? Uh, it doesn't look like there's any life other than the tree, the grass, and the undeath that you dispatched earlier. Is the Lorax around? Uh, he is not on this particular island, perhaps okay. on another. All right. You chop down this tree? Correct. <laughs> uh, can somebody do me a favor and roll me a d4? All right, so oh! Pharaoh's not doing it. <laughs> no, I'll do it. I will do it. Do it. <sighs> yes. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm waiting for it to load. One, I'm sorry. Two, three, four. All right. Yep. Check out my new shoes. Four. Okay. Awesome. Right. Why Hakata? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how you doing? I'm good. Okay. Ac uh, excellent. Uh, I need to have a wisdom saving throw from you, please. Cool. 18. <laughs> um, if it meets, it beats. You feel that same pressure in your head as you feel like something is trying to prey on your thoughts maybe even a specific fear again a very similar sensation to what you felt when you first were sleeping on the beach but you're able to repel it away having already experienced it once and now you are certain something has to be here with you i have an idea yes uh, so since I was the one who discovered that the fucking lighthouse itself is just filled to burst with necrotic energies, mm -hmm. uh, I I'm gonna let YKA say something first before I say my thought, though, please, because it actually will help. Uh, you'll see her kind of shake her head a little bit and then turn back towards you and Ray Cool. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling that prodding sensation in my mind once more. Oh, Whatever is now? here, I believe we have encountered it before. Oh, really? Well, that's just splendid. A moment, please. Holds his, uh, holds the, like, holy symbol close to his head. I'd like to use an arcane check to see if anything is parting the necrotic energy or somehow shifting it near Waikata. Uh, I will give you advantage because why Hikata has alerted you to something manipulating it. So go for it. Let's fucking oh. God! <laughs> so much, 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 much like when the fog was getting thicker and you knew something was being manipulated. As you reach out to the arcane to try to analyze what might have happened to why Hikata or even Raycool, you're not able to get a clear picture, and you are again certain. Something is interfering with your ability to attune with the arcane and making it more difficult. Not impossible, but certainly harder than you were prepared for on that particular check. Oh, this is so annoying. Kapno sort of runs a hand back through his mane and, like, plants a spear into the ground and sort of leans on it as he's thinking. And then he looks up. Is it the lighthouse itself? The chronic energies is coming from it. This thing is brimming to burst with it. What if we turn Can the light we... off? 
Is necrotic energy able to identify and mess with a person's thoughts? That doesn't... I can't do, could, would I know that, considering what kind of cleric I am? If arcane energies can specifically mess with someone's thoughts? If necrotic energy can fuck with people's thoughts. Um, you would not... You don't even need to roll for this. You would know that there are a lot of illusion spells that can maybe mess with people's heads. And you know there are spells that can specifically dig inside someone's head, but you mm -hmm. don't recall specific necrotic spells that do it. You, oh, oh, you, presume that, you presume that it could be possible. You're just not familiar with a spell off the top of your head that does it that's also necrotic. Raval shakes his head. Ne necromancy isn't that straightforward. It could be possible, but it would need something else to bolster it. You're thinking of illusion or enchantment. Meh. Uh, could somebody roll me a d3, please? Oh, no. D3? Uh, a d3. Oh, a PP. Can we just roll a four and... <laughs> I mean, if, if you really want to roll the four, three. but... Oh, my God. A three? Uh, let me... One... One, two... Maybe three. we should Revolve. leave the Excellent. Maybe we should, Yay. Maybe we should yeah. leave the island. We should fucking leave. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the island of exploding zombies. Uh, I have you want to go check out the cursed lighthouse? I've, I, I have prepared exploding rooms today. Hmm. Uh, you'll, you'll appreciate this, Raval. Uh, yeah. Actually, I have to roll this first. Let me see if it even matters. It certainly does not. Raval, you watch as you, again, having just attuned to the arcane... Feel the energy shift again, and out of the corner of your eye, as you kind of sidestep it, you watch a green blast go across your field of vision. It looks like somebody shot a ray of sickness at you as you sidestep it. Ah. I believe we found our assailant, as I hold up my fucking holy symbol. Uh, you would know that just because you it missed you. It came from somewhere over by the tree. I Anybody will. who likes to can give me a perception check with advantage because he completely missed. Advantage. Oh. Twelve. Two. <laughs> Twenty-two. Oh, that's an actual I will 20. perception. Seventeen a... both ends. <laughs> you good, Connor? A... Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. All of you. See this. Oh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> every, every, everyone except for Bran sees this because he's too busy looking into another dimension. Uh, no, all of you see this. Uh, as you all look towards the tree, as you first hear the sound and then watch as that ray of sickness goes right past Raval, you turn towards the tree. And for just a brief moment before it goes invisible once more, you see what could only be described as a massive, giant, spider-like creature. Multiple legs on both sides of its body, as all of its beady little eyes, very similar to the ones that you were able to identify, Raval, in your vision, before it out of existence. Is it oh, visible long good. enough for us to attempt to identify it? Uh, if you want to roll me either an arcana or a history check, by all means. Bosco, how tall is this lighthouse? Uh, this lighthouse is probably about 60 to 70 feet tall. Hmm. Can anyone so get in on that history? Uh, yes, you can all roll that. Or if you would rather roll an arcana or a perception to see either where it went or what it did, you can also oh do that. Oh my god, perception is so much better for me. Yep. Here I go. Well, so 25! Dealer's choice. Perception, arcana, history. 20. Oh god, my god. Uh, that was a history check, by the way. That was a history check? The perception yes. was for Raval. Why yep. I kid did the arcana? Would anybody else like to roll anything? Um... Hmm. No, I'm good, man. Well, yeah, you're like, like I've already looked into the ether. Yeah, got it. Bat yeah. in the afterglow. I'm, I'm just going to say Ray <laughs> takes out his short bow and he's ready to fucking shoot shit. Okay. The first two rules was a 25 and a crit. I think they got it handled. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll start with the perception check. So, Raval, you specifically watch this creature disappear out of existence. However, you remember that the Necromancer, when it was also invisible... There was a little bit of a shimmer in the way that it kind of reflected light 
to give you just the slightest hint that something was there. However, when you look over there now, you are certain with a 25, it is no longer there. And probably no longer on this island, lest you see that shimmer where you were just looking but a second ago. Meanwhile, Kopnos with a 23, you think back to your multiple sessions with Sophia of just digging through books on creatures and spells and demigods. And you do remember one specific book that mentioned that oftentimes, whether it is a dark lord or a powerful entity of some kind ruling over a realm, they will often have information gatherers and you remember the, the brain blast that you had on the beach. You are now certain that whatever that spider-like creature is, is not only the thing that was messing with your minds, but is absoluting aiding the Duchess, which is why it was here and ready for you. Ah. We are being toyed with. Figures. It was only targeting us one at a time. It wasn't trying to kill us. Well, whatever that thing was, it was serving the Duchess. Cop knows you know that if this was a distraction, it means that whatever's actually happen happening with Grimharl is probably... This was just meant to, to, to dally and waste your time. And that time is, again, of the essence. We should move. No need to tell me twice. Ray will, like, kind of hang off the side and just, like, a cat going down a cat tower, just, like, let his claws kind of let him slide him down. Why Hakeda will drag herself down the stairs like that really long, impossibly thin creature from VHS going through the hallways and make it out of the staircase. So extra. Walk Listen, down I the just... Side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I have a climb speed. <laughs> um, so extra defies gravity. Also, I was I was standing next to the boat most of the time. Correct. Did I? I didn't notice anything trying to tamper with the boat at all. During no, the, the boat the the boat seems unaffected. Again, with such a strong history check, you know a creature like this. If it is trying to play mind games with you, it's not looking to sabotage the boat it was meant to keep you here as long as possible and once it was spotted it immediately left okay. then let's go let's go oh hey strong bed holy crap i am in well dimitri uh, <laughs> dimitri here All right. I can't and, believe I went all the way to Demetrescu. Crazy place. <laughs> Demetrescu. Ooh, that is not what I wanted. Darkness. Darkness. Falls across the land. And as all of Ooh. you get back into your boat, uh, you notice that the, the currents, the, the waves, as you start to move back towards the shoreline that you originally came from, the currents have picked up a bit. Not in a way that's going to force you to make any kind of a check. But you do notice, and Raval, this strikes you again, much like the fog, the waters seem to be working against you guys just a little bit. Um, and as you head back towards the beach, you guys have a couple of options. Uh, you are welcome to go back to the original beach point and speak with the necromancer once more if you would like, or if you would like to dock closer to the city and look for Sophia and the Alpha, you know that they are in the city trying to collect information on the Duchess. Couldn't we Might also well. just go to the Duchess? Uh, you that could would also, be suicide. You could also just go straight to the Duchess <laughs> if you would like. Uh, I mean, you did say time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. so That is totally an option. If you want yeah, to try to fight them right now, you could. Let's just kick door. her ass. Let's just wrap up this year early. Yeah, we got <laughs> this. I'm, I'm in that camp either, Sophia and Alpha, or... I, yeah, to see the Duchess, but that seems yeah, I super wanna, dangerous. I want to see what Sophia and the Alpha. Yeah, they? I'm I'm in camp info gather. Yeah, mm. yep. Knowledge is power. I mean, the Alpha seems Excellent. like he'd be good at getting info. All right. Mm. Uh, just because this might come up, and I, I will give it to you if you remember, Brank. Can you give me just a straight intelligence check? All right. Because this is going to be a deep pull, and I don't know Natural if above 20. you remember. Come on. Come if, on. He 
As a nine. Oh. It was it, it was not a high DC. Brand, no. you do remember that when you were getting ready and separated from the group to go to the party, there was a noble house that you actually were able to speak with. Uh, That's specifically, right. House de la Muerte. Has de yeah. la Muerte. So at the very least, you know that you've at least interacted with them. So that is also an option that is on the table. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, hold yeah, up. They dressed hold. me up all fancy like for the ball. Mm -hmm. Yo, hang on. Hang on a second. Bosco, I'm from here, and I have this funky little uh, feature called uh, Shelter of the Faithful. Okay. Remind me Would. what that does. Shelter of the Faithful. As an acolyte, you may command respect of those who share your faith and can perform religious ceremonies at, to your deity. You and your adventuring companions can expect to receive free healing and care at a temple, shrine, or other establishment present of your faith. Though you must provide any material components for needed spells, those who share your religion will support you, but only at a modest lifestyle's pace. Okay, and what are you hoping to do with that specifically? Well... We have a safe place to be. We uh, yes, we a we have a safe place to be. Uh, mm -hmm. Secondly, maybe I can glean some insight from you know in a city where everything's fucking kind of like corroded with fucking undead bullshittery. Mm -hmm. Maybe the people of my cloth that you know speak to the Raven Queen, she who commands the dead, might have some info. So you know very specifically of one place of worship. Uh, that houses multiple denominations. You know that there is a cathedral specifically called the Mother of Tears Cathedral. Oh my god, that rules! <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it is, <laughs> it is dead smack in the center uh, uh, of Porta Lucine. It is a symbol of the city's wealth and extravagance. It is a massive temple that, like I said, houses multiple denominations. If you were to find anyone of your faith that would house you, that would be your best bet other than going door to door. Okay, so the the remind me again, what was the name of the place again? Uh, the name of the place was called the Mother of Tears Cathedral. All right, so Raval will look to everyone else. You know, once we've located your friends, and if information doesn't really bode all that well, the Mother of Tears Cathedral in the center of town might be a good place for us after we regroup to find shelter. Folks of my cloth might be there, and that might be a point of interest for us, at, at least information-wise. If nothing else, it would give us some sort of shelter. Would that not be obvious, though? The obvious Duchess, or not. The Duchess knows you, knows where you would likely hide. Does she, though? Like, I'm, I'm asking God this, by the way. It is extremely hard to tell, but what you do know is that she seems to have been able to either send someone after you or find you when she wants to. So it's less of a question about does she know where you are and more of a question of do you think she would come after you in that location? And would they have any resources to stop that? That's exact. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to just go I'm gonna suck back uh, into IC real quick. <laughs> The way I see it is I'm willing to take a risk on getting sanctuary with with a bunch of clerics. That sounds really nice, all things considered. Indeed. In, uh, barring the fact that we have eyes on us, it's still good to have more, uh, even more eyes watching us around us while we stay. You know, this Raven Queen sounds really cool. Oh, she's hmm. a peach. Is there any sarcasm to that, or is Roval no, genuine? No, absolutely. Oh, no, it's super genuine. Like, you don't even have to fucking roll an insight for that. It is incredibly genuine. Hmm. Confidence will, quest will sort of roll his eyes and stow away his spear and shield. I have some questions for you once we get to your sanctuary. Ray looks like he's thinking about stuff. Mm-hmm. So just so I can clarify above the game, you guys are going to go after the Alpha and Sophia and then fall back to the cathedral for if, a same if, if we can't, yeah, if we cannot okay. get anything at all, the, the plan B is get to the cathedral. All right. Is there anything that any of you would like to do before you get to, if you want to continue role playing, by all means, uh, but before you get to the shore? Right. While we're on the boat, nothing. Uh... Hmm. 
if no one else wants to do some anything, I would like to do something. Go for it. What would you like to do? Uh, while we're on the boat, in between the island and the mainland, um, after a, a period of some quiet, why Hikeda will speak up uh, from a position towards the back of the boat. She's not standing. She's sitting, because standing would probably cause the boat to be slightly imbalanced. Mm -hmm. um, but sitting from towards the back of the boat, you guys would hear her. I would like to share something, if you would humor me. By all means, sharing is caring, as they say. Go ahead. I suppose by now it is no secret. My promise, my pact with Grimharl. She had very politely volunteered and agreed to put me down should I ever reach the full realization of what I am. A tree? No. I am cursed. And my curse has caused me to very rapidly lose what remains of my humanity. When my entire village was destroyed, I turned to vengeance. I spent no time to mourn. I did not honor their deaths. And I have been turned into this. Over my travels with you all, the last remnants of my humanity have dwindled to but a single candle wick. I fear the time I truly lose myself is far nearer than I would have hoped. All I would ask is that if you would bear the burden, you would agree to the same pact that Grimharl did. If such a day comes where you look to me and no humanity is left in my eyes, then promise you will put me down. You will be releasing me from my curse. A curse that will have served its time, at which point my death will no longer be a reward, but time served. Raval holds his hand up, just like looking towards the rest of the group. Now, I might be the new fellow in all of this whole scenario, but hearing this plea and hearing this request, you ask me to do my duty, madam. Your pact or no, and your trust in me or not, should you prove yourself to be a menace, shall we say, whether you are in sound mind or not, my duty is to bring you down. So you at least have my promise, if that means anything to you. If you show undead fervor, I will smite you. It is most interesting that you mention undeath. I am in a place between, but I believe you will not find me classified as one of your foes. Therefore, such a pact class. would be meaningful to me. Words mm. have power. Mm. You'll have to forgive me uh, by the way you speak of yourself. I can't help but feel like it reminds me of my own situation. So at least we have common ground there, whether the naming and conventions be something different. You sought a necromancer for power to avenge all the deaths of everyone you had ever known. He looks down at his hand and like, like he, his hands are gloved. He like unwraps the buckle from the side of the glove and looks at his hand and it's completely pale with a small little tattoo of the Raven Queen on the inside of the palm, but it's faded away. Hmm. In a manner of speaking, yes. And wraps his hand back up. And your word 
holds even more strength. I'll agree to the. I'll agree to that promise, on one condition. Why, Hikeda? She turns towards you and meets your gaze. Answer this next question honestly. Do you genuinely think there's a chance that this curse could be cured? That there's any way to reverse it? I have spent decades searching for such a thing. Foolishly hoping I could relieve myself of my well-earned consequence. The answer to your question is no. There is no cure. I don't think anybody deserves this. I don't know if this is well-earned, but... If Grim Grimharl could change her magic and stuff, maybe there's a chance for you. That's all I'm saying. There's I always turned... a way out. There has to be. I turned my back on my people. Their souls trapped on a realm, for they were not given proper burial, nor burial rites. In a sense... I hold them hostage as long as I live. On the rare occasion I dream, I still see their faces. Though before they were twisted in torment, now they are visages of anger and hatred. I know what it is I have done. I do not run from it anymore. All I ask is that I be removed before I put any innocent people in danger. I'll do it, but I'm not gonna like it. But you have my promise. And happy I am to have it. Uh, Brain raises his hand like he's in a classroom. <laughs> She'll turn and meet your gaze. I have a logistical question. Start killing you and a little bit of your humanity comes back. Hold. Hold. You're very robot. Oh. Scene, scene hold. Oh, scene hold. Yeah. No, wait, did my Steam start downloading something? Maybe. You're a little yeah. bit robot -y. Damn it, Steam. Yeah, I just saw my bit rate go to, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, rebounding, maybe? I'm going to try rejoining Discord. L li listen, chat. Cookie clicker is no joke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Google Chrome's taking up all that RAM. For mm -hmm. real. Oh. No, but like, actually. Oh, oh my god. It's, it's, <laughs> my connection is bounding wildly. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, you sound better. Yeah, I was oh, gonna there we go. It's recovered. Huge. Okay, cool. Okay, there just a go. little hiccup, but yeah, continue. So, Brad's Brad was updating. Was, uh, what if we start killing you and then a bit of your humanity comes back? I do not believe We should have that's a signal. No, like, a, what... like a timeout. It may be possible that in such a state I may mimic who I once was, but I assure you it will not be me. See, this is why we have the signal, so that we know if it is really you. You will know. Just do this with your hands if your humanity comes back. I, like, move my hands in, like, the shape of a bird. By now, Waihakeda's gotten kind of used to you. <laughs> so, in, in all seriousness, without any kind of hint of sarcasm or exasperation, she'll just sort of nod in your direction. <laughs> Brad gives you a thumbs up. What should we do with your remains? I believe the practices you have been trained in for destroying or removing 
Any undead creature should suffice. Remove the head. Burn the body. You forgot to say a prayer at the end there. If it should so suit you. At least be respectful of it. I will be gone. Yes, but the memory of yourself will be with your allies. And the memory never dies, even if the body does. And I will hope you remember me. Perhaps for this conversation, and not for what I become in that moment. Do I have your word? And she'll look back towards Kopnos. He's just got his hands folded in front of his chest, and he is not making eye contact. I'll do it. It may well, perhaps, be the greatest service you could do for the people of Barovia. So that's where you're all from. Turns and looks. <laughs> well, I'm from Cholt, but... Uh... Oh dear, this is all very... Con suppose. It's where we're from, but not like where we're from. Blame your damned mists. Yeah. They pull creatures from other realms into these hellish domains of thread. In my case, Barovia is the closest thing I yet have to a home. The woods have long been spoiled. And now... And she kind of looks at her hands and looks up at the area around them as they're on the boat. I don't believe I can still claim to be their watcher. Yeah, now you're like an extra dimensional watcher. You speak for them and your eyes wander for them, either in places unknown. It is all I can hope, that they will welcome my spirit once I relinquish those still attached to me. And as Waiakeda kind of says that, you feel the boat bump into the sandbar once again as you make landfall. And as you look out into the massive cityscape that is Port of Lucene, that is where we're going to take our break. Okay. Yahoo! Ooh. Ooh, I'm loving this session so far. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Good ro hey, good role play from everybody on that. that yeah, was very thanks good. for hey. joining in on that one, guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, everybody, if you don't have inspiration already, take it for that scene. That was very good. Fuck yeah! Can I get double Whoa. inspiration? Uh, you're not oh, really allowed to stack I'm inspiration. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Bef before I get that inspiration, I do, I do, I do a backflip. On, okay. Onto the onto the beach. Damn. Uh, okay. Well, then now you can stack it. And now you now you lost. One Nineteen backflip. There, there. Now. Well, <laughs> well, well on that note, I want to welcome everyone to the oh, Mark Allen Jr. halftime show. <laughs> I'll allow it. Rough, I, I, I wish I, I I ran out of water. I should get some more. You should get I some water. I well. No, I can't. I, I will handle this halftime show. So no, no. Show. Hold on, Mark. Mark, what if I handled the Mark Allen Jr. halftime show just long enough for you to get water? No, I won't allow that. Oh, okay. The burden is mine to bear. <laughs> much, I, this is my burden. Look, my I, name's on it, and I'm really worried about branding. So I'm gonna need you to just, you know, but sit you back. Don't have to worry about brand. Brand. He's is, right here. Yeah, really, yeah. I said branding. I n g. That's the gerund form. In case brand. you didn't know. That. See, see, Listen, yeah. we're not. Hey, Burnout Vaughn. Thanks. I'm happy to be the front runner in something, even if it is the death pool. That's yeah. you know, I've not been number one in a lot of things, so I'll take what I can get. Mm -hmm. Zen already out here throwing shade. All right, well, I mean, then I suppose I'll just sit here and watch you do your thing. Hey, I mean, cool. hey, Chad, did you know? Or go, go ahead. 
<laughs> I was about to say at the same at the same time that you may up in the high in the death pool. I am still relatively the new guy, and I could <laughs> be the red shirt here. It's true. No, you're not you a red know. shirt. Your dude's wearing. Well, there is red in your shirt. There's red on my shirt, Mark. Yeah, no. To be fair, Zito's the only it. one that can say they've already won the death pool. <laughs> yeah, you've already. <laughs> yeah, you won just, like three years ago, dude. I get, I get double or nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh <No> shit. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, chat. Thank you so much for joining us again. Early breaks are kind of weird. It's kind of a weird time to to take the break, but we'll take it. Oh. Usually, yeah. like an hour, hour thirty minutes is like a good break point. Red? But, uh, I'll use this time to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Hey, and actually, that? Zen, I, I haven't, I wouldn't say I've been sitting on it for a while. It's been on my mind. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was something that when I knew we were coming back this year, I was like, ah, I want to I wanna address this again because we didn't really address it last season. And it feels like something worth addressing. And then Grim Harl going missing was like the perfect catalyst to be like, oh shit, we have to address this now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 100 bits from Cosmosis45. Wait, did you guys give the hags their payment for the fancy clothes? No. <laughs> uh, so, um, no, not, not yet. yet. Not, we, yeah, it's not, not yet. that we don't intend to. We just haven't done it We did yet. steal a bunch of stuff from that mansion, if I remember. Yeah, right. yeah we all still have it. Yeah. In um, fact, I have it in my notes here, all the things that we stole. All the so, things that we done did took. So, so Chad, did you know Yugoslavia hasn't been a country for like 30 <laughs> years? Because I learned that today. I Oh, my Lord. Can, can you tell I went to art school and I've never taken a geography course in my fucking life? Because, cause, yeah, I'm I'm dumb. I'm very dumb. Well, you Wait, you just today learned about the breakup of Yugoslavia. Yeah, yes, I Yeah, did. which uh, Bosco properly pointed out happened before Thero was born. Yeah, so. yeah, so like the only world that you've ever known is a post-Yugoslavia world. So I don't know. Yeah. Yep. The thought that it still it existed was, came I, into your brain. I it's don't crazy. know. It's crazy. It was, I was I was, in, I, was I was like, wow. I was in the I was the first one in the Discord. Bosco comes in doing a weird accent. I'm like, is that a Yugoslavian accent? And Bosco's like, what the fuck? That hasn't been a thing for 30 years. And here we are. And I immediately showed up and yeah. provided a map of yeah. the area. Mark, as it is Mark now. came out That's of the fucking. That's why that was in the Discord. Yeah, yeah it was a... <laughs> Maki's gonna be I so confused. Like, She's like, "Why?" Posted a map of former Yugoslavia. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and so, like, Bosco's breaking it down, and then like Mark just burst out of my walls, like the <laughs> being the pedantic <laughs> fucker he is. It's so great. By the Mark way, has Max IRL. Yes, he yeah, does. I do. I do. Uh, 100 bits from Zen Lita. The puns never end. If a werewolf sat in the forest long enough to grow moss, they'd be a lycanthrope. I'm with it. Uh, yeah. L-I-C-H-E-N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Very good. I've, I've, I've returned. I got, I got a little bit of that conversation. The only thing <laughs> I can add to is, um, hey, chat, can I show you the last section of kobolds I may have made? Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> do it. Do it. Sure. While you do Chill. that, Chill. we're on break. Ten bits Chill. from Papusa Monkey. The fucking horror of talking about the Balkans while going into Ravenloft. Do you want to tempt fate? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very appropriate, you know? They've been they've been tempting fate since they decided to play Ravenloft, let's be real. Honestly, yeah. If, if you could Why Hakeda out here throwing up death flags left and right? <laughs> <laughs> Burnout Vaughn's Look. like, I'm changing the odds and I don't like it. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I just want to be prepared for if it happens. Uh huh. Anything's possible, as KG once said. It's true. Yeah, only KG has said that. I hope you don't. Yep, mind he's the only one. He's the only coffee one ever. Cake. Mm, coffee cake. Fifty-five oh. bits from Ace Bounty. Hey guys, rough day today. Literally an hour line for the lottery. Ooh. I hope you win. Assuming it you're playing. Every time. Every Unless time you mean the, the death uh... pool lottery, in which case I oh. hope you don't win, because uh, yeah. I don't want any of us to die. Ten it's bits from Killer just... Chansey. It's not a matter of will it happen, but when. When? When? Someone in chat just asked, is it Boston's best? Bro, I'm in New York City. It's Hostess. Hostess? How now that's the, the uh... stuff. When the Hostess with the most. Oh, yeah, the Powerball is 1.7 billion right now. It's what? Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
10 bits from Callum Draws. If a werewolf built a roller coaster, would they make sure to add a Lugaru? Very good. You know. L O L O P Guru. Yeah, Loop Guru. That's very right, chat. good. I'll Party give you that one, Callum. Now stop while you're ahead. All right. First, first time ever, chat. That's a plus 10 from me. Oh yeah, wow! I'm I wow. approve of Lugaru. Jokes. Yeah, but stop! Like stop! Like stop while you're ahead. That's Retire. hard to make work, and I I'm very glad that we got okay. To experience okay, it chat. What's your favorite hostess product? Mine or Ding Dongs? Yeah. Well, um, I kind of like Snowballs better now because I don't like the thick brownie chocolate that Hostess uses. It gets stuck in I, my teeth. And it's I am a of fan of the powdered donuts. Yeah, I am a fan. their crumb yeah. donuts are good too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the donuts, the little mini donuts. Oh my god! Yep, donuts. exactly. Yeah. I donuts. Could specifically I could, those. I could kill an entire bag of those, like like yeah. that. Like like I Always could I could fuck those up. I I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. Yeah. I am yeah, I am so proud of the chat stuff. right now. I am so proud of the chat right now because they're not saying the obvious one, which would be Twinkies, because yeah. the recipe after the recipe has changed, they're fucking absolutely inferior. First I, of all, not enough people give props to Devil Dogs, which is why probably when they made they that don't joke exist anymore. Yeah, they do. They're gone. Do they? No, they do. I'm pretty sure they're gone, dude. Dr so Drake's, I think, was bought by Hostess. Yeah. Right. Right. So they're still around. Yeah, people don't okay. give props to Devil Dogs because they're delicious. I don't think I've had it's from Mad Tom in, like, K. So years. if Dracula gets cremated, would that make a vampire? P Y R E. Ah. Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, God damn it! I want to. I want to go to the fucking grocery store and get some like ding dongs and donuts. Were pretty. Ding dongs, ho hos. Hey, yeah. Hey. yeah. Oh, ho hos. Cupcakes, yeah. Aropadar. Yeah. That's the sound oh. of satisfaction, my guy. Uh, yeah. Were those donuts? No, no, that was the crumb cake. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I love the. I love the cupcakes as well. Honestly, Little Debbie beats Hostess every time. I I don't I don't eat any of them anymore. Uh, there's like yeah, I don't I haven't had them in years. I don't yeah, know what I don't, brand it is. I miss but there, sweet. there's this this brand that makes these like they're they're like fruit pies. They're like they're called like turnovers or something like that. But they're not Ed turnovers. Edamins? It might be Edamins. Edamins. They're, they're the long. Company? They're kind yeah. of like a like a like a crawler. Yes. With, like, no, you are. The those are. Th I think those are Edamins. Okay. Those are Edamins. You are thinking I, Edamins. They're, the, specifically, their apple is like that's like my go-to junk store Danish. I. Freaking uh, love those things. Is everybody back, or does somebody need a minute to eat slash drink? Uh, we'll end the Mark Allen Jr. halftime show here. Thanks, chat, so much. Last 10 bits here from Killer Chansey. Mark, expand the break 30 minutes. Everyone get your hostess snacks and lottery tickets. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, right? That sounds like a great night. It's Honestly, really like, plan. compared to what I have planned for you, that's a way better night. It's a great mm -hmm. trip to the gas station Bro, bro right that, that's, right. just, that, that's just fucking 3 a.m. for me every night. <laughs> Nobody has to die in that 30 minutes. It's great. Right. I'm going to go get some water real quick. I mean, uh, I don't know. the Mark Allen Jr. halftime show, everybody. And now that Mark is gone, welcome okay. into the Bosco halftime my, show. <laughs> my town at like 3 a.m., you don't want to be walking around. Well, good to know. Mm. Ah. New York City, baby. Never sleeps. Tri-state area. We're nice. always trash. <laughs> hosted it's by... Where you go. It's the Mark Allen Jr. halftime show, hosted by Edward Bosco. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> the lotto was already pulled. Well, uh, that gives a shit. Also, that, that's, I, who, who the fuck cares? Do it for next time. That's like time. saying, "Oh, it's the Verizon halftime show brought yeah, to you by AT and T." I agree. I agree with the sentiment that Little Debbie's claps hostess's cheeks every time. Yeah. Little Debbie's? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had Little Debbie, so I can't comment. Oh, oh wait, you're Debbie. serious. Let me laugh harder. Ah! Dude, I haven't even heard Debbie's, of Little Debbie's. Oatmeal, oatmeal cream, cream pies, pies clears your whole ah! <laughs> Yeah, This is the discourse I'm here for. Listen. Oatmeal cream this... pies clear. Yeah, they, got the, they got the Swiss rolls, which are like hollow. It's okay, Zeta, you can do it. I... I, I only really had a hostess, so like I fuck a little bad. Man, Debbie. Right, man okay. why are you why are you saying crazy. fuck little Debbie? What the fuck, Pharaoh? <laughs> well, before we start uh, an international sweets incident, is everybody mm. ready to get back into another Mark has his water? Let's yes. boogie. All righty then. 
then I'm sorry. Allow- I'm sorry. I just read Shahal. I'm sorry. Little Debbies are for people who don't want to spend money on hostess snacks. They are <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're no. just filled with regret <laughs> afterwards. Oh my oh, god, I love this. <laughs> Every snack food, to be fair. Man. <laughs> Shahalm just went for the jugular. Oh Jesus my Christ. fucking god, dude! <laughs> Look, everything with HFCS makes you feel a little bit of regret afterwards. So oh my fucking let me god. let me see if this was the right. Song. It's okay. My jugular is already <laughs> uh, clotted with uh, little Debbie's anyway. Just just the jugular. <laughs> yeah, just the jugular. <laughs> I need to see someone about it. My my veins have so much <laughs> cholesterol; they have like twenty AC. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Should probably excellent <clears throat> as all of you make landfall f- fairly easily you look out into the city and it is at that point you realize just how time has passed just in the time where you've been up at the lighthouse and back when you first woke up while you felt the benefits of having rested fully outside of the prodding into your mind Due to the time when you went to sleep and not actually staying asleep for as long as you probably thought you did, the night air is still very much alive with the sounds of nothing. Nothing but the wind. And as you look out into the surprisingly dim-lit city, you again hear the sounds of nothing. Nothing except for perhaps the wind coming in off the shore, the waves slowly crashing in to the sand But beyond that, there is no signs of life. And as you make your way up the beach and begin to traverse back into the city looking for any sign of the Alpha and Sophia, it is eerily similar to when you were first coming down this way at the beginning of nightfall. All of the doors, all of the windows shut, shutters drawn, windows either boarded up, a blanket hung in the window, but no signs of anyone. You can hear your footsteps echoing ever so slightly against the cobblestone as you walk through the streets. The dimly lit streets really offering you no comfort at all outside of the shadow shadows in very deep alleyways as you look left and right. And as you begin to traverse the city, <laughs> how would you like to attempt to find the Alpha and Sophia? Hmm. We're going to go door to door with a picture of them going, have you seen this baby? Trick or treat. Have you seen my dog? If I was a big, tall werewolf man and a vampire hunter, where would I go? Castro State? That is a great question. Rafal leers at you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you have the benefit of having... That's what Sophia is! Mm. Uh, Let's see. Can we try and track the alpha? Uh, you can attempt to track the alpha, or Raval could maybe do some sort of history check to maybe figure out if there is a location of knowledge that would be most beneficial to where uh, Let's to go them. With that. It's up to Let's you guys. So you that. can you can either try to track them, which is totally viable, or you can use Raval's knowledge of the lay of the land to maybe pick out a location that they might have gone. Um, you can also both do that simultaneously if you want to double your chances. Let's do it. Let's do that. Is he a monstrosity? Uh, technically, he's humanoid. I will double check the classification of a werewolf it's in fine. 5e Ow. so I don't get rules lawyer. But yeah, go go ahead and make your rolls. Eh, wow. I'm not it is. Werewolves It's a natural arguing. 20 for a total of 25. Holy not shit. That, so not that it fucking matters. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> but for those of you who are going to rules lawyer me, which I actually do appreciate because I'm trying to be better about this stuff, uh, he, werewolves are listed as humanoid, which is what gotcha. I thought. Um, so, uh, spoiler, he's a werewolf. Uh, <laughs> what? So, oh, really? Revol, it's not so much that you don't know the layout of this area it's more that there's so many different points of interest that they could have gone there are various libraries there's a massive uh university that could contain hundreds if not thousands of tomes and books and as you kind of think about which of those might be worth investigating and realizing just the amount of time it would take to check each and every one you why do what you do best and that is track 
and it is the faintest of scents. A lesser trained hunter would not have been able to pick up on it, but due to your keen, almost primal awareness, let's call it. That's cute. Mm -hmm. You are able to not only pick up on the scent, but feel fairly confident that you would be able to track it directly to its source. I have his scent. Follow me. And she'll start heading in the direction following the trail. Uh, and as you do so, it takes you a surprising amount of time. What can best be described in terms that everyone above game can understand is maybe a an hour or two of walking from Ooh. where you first ported uh, and made landfall. Uh, you continue down what looks like a long cobblestone walkway. And if the bay that you were currently in and the point where you slept was at one end of a crescent moon, the place where you are currently going would be at the other end of it. And it's at that point that you realize that it is very good that you use the boat to do most of the heavy work for you. For if you had gone back to the Necromancer, this would have been potentially a full day's journey. But instead, it is merely a couple of hours. And as you reach the very tip of that, what stands before you, Raval, you noticed instantly, because it was one of the things that I mentioned, it is the University of Dementliu, a massive structure that sits at the very edge of that crescent moon and extends out into what looks like a bay. And as you guys make your approach, you could see the large columns that extend directly upwards, a large stone step, or rather staircase, that seems absurdly high and unnecessarily long, but that seems to fit the theme of everything being a little bit more extravagant than it is supposed to be. And as you make your way up the steps, you see a large set of double doors, completely made out of wood with engravings on them that, again, don't seem to serve any real purpose other than to prove that they can be extravagant and decorative. You can see little diamonds encrusted on the handle. And as you approach, you feel like the doors would probably swing wide open if you were to pull on them. Oh, how the academic artisans love their extravagance. I open the door. As soon as Raval pulls open the door, it looks like you're walking into a cathedral. However, it is very clearly an academic university. And as soon as you take that first step inside Raval, your armor goes from clacking against the sound of stone on those steps to marble. The entire floor before you, completely covered in the finest marble shimmering as it as if it had just been polished for your arrival and as you look inside various paintings some of the duchess that you immediately recognize others of other noble houses brand you in particular notice on one of the walls a painting of the head of house de la muerte and as you continue inside all of you begin to hear the sounds of pages ruffling beginning to echo through the halls and as you continue to make your steps, the long walls of paintings eventually give way to an open archway. And as soon as you turn the corner, you see massive bookcases extending probably 30 to 40 feet high in the air with long ladders designed to scroll across them as that would be the only way without magic to reach up there outside of perhaps jumping from shelf to shelf. Every single bookcase lined with extravagant scrolls, some looking more dated than others. Massive books. And at a table in what looks to be the center of this massive room, the Alpha in his human form and Sophia, nose deep in a pair of books and seemingly unaware of your arrival. <sighs> I'm going to be that jerk. <laughs> fucking Raval just like doesn't like near the table too far but like listly kind of just like floats closer just to be within eye shot mm -hmm. as he clears his throat <clears throat> having a good read are we you immediately notice Sophia once again jump not as much as she did when you woke her from her slumber but more of a startled jump as she kind of sighs, 
Raval, good to see you. Mm. You notice the Alpha doesn't really make eye contact with you. Rather, he raises a hand to acknowledge that you're there, but keeps his eyes in the book. He seems to be studying much harder than Sophia, which you can tell probably means that Sophia is very used to this kind of digging through books, whereas the Alpha not as well read, perhaps, and is doing his best to try to contribute. As you can see, the stack of books next to her is much higher than what he has. Oh, I look to the rest of my companions. Well, I, does friends. everyone does everyone yeah. enter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you enter, Sophia oh, yeah. seems to warm a little bit as she sees the familiar faces of all of you, specifically you, Kopnos, as she gives you a, a quick little nod. I take it you were not successful, judging by how Grimharl is not with you. Yeah, it was an illusion. Was a diversion. Oh, do I, one at a time. Oh, Did you say an illusion? Go ahead, yes, Captain. there was some sort of spider-like beast that was capable of casting spells. I think it was there to serve as a distraction for us, one that we fell for entirely. Did, did this... you said spider-like creature? Yes. When we noticed it, it disappeared entirely. Sul, didn't you see something about that in one of your books? And you see the Alpha look up from his book, catch all of your eyes for just a moment, and then start going through the did, books, realizing he doesn't use, remember what... Did she just use his first name, like his human name? Not, not just, just that. She's not just that. She short nickname. She shortened uh, it into a nickname. Uh, However, it's... Sul. Uh, Sul. So Sul. So instead of Sulamore, uh, she just said Sul. Uh, I see, I see. So, <laughs> however, he seems to not react as aggressively as he did before, a little bit more in com uh, composed than he was in the heat of the news about Grimharl. And he's finally able to find the book as he begins flipping through it. Uh, yeah, I was able to find something about uh, a spider-like creature that will mess with people's minds, similar to what happened with us, I think. Is that right? Sophia kind of gives a very proud nod. Uh, and he will push the book towards all of you. And in that book, you do see a very rough interpretation of what you all saw on that island. It is a spider-like creature. Can it put is... you to sleep? Uh, from what we were able to find out, it can do a lot of different things. It primarily preys on your fears and your apprehension, but... It really does so through dreams, so my guess would be if it puts you to sleep, then it probably was trying to access something in your brain, and it does so much better when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Your defenses aren't what they normally are. Oh, yes. This fun tug of war mentally I was having with the beast. Ah. Uh, I assume you're here to help us look. We haven't been able to find anything specifically about the Duchess, if you wouldn't mind maybe looking around or if there's something else you're interested in. I'm surprised that the doors were just open. We haven't seen anyone come in or out the entire night. Brand raises his hand like he's in a classroom. Um, yes? Everybody in the town is missing. What do you we mean walked missing? around for hours. There was nobody in town anywhere. Are you sure there was nobody? Were they? It Perhaps was they were... dead silent. Completely hmm. empty. Hmm. Which makes my idea of us retreating to the cathedral seem a little bit more hopeless, but still something nonetheless. Uh, is it that there was no one there, or are they just all inside? Did you check at all? We didn't check. I don't think. We're a little busy looking for you. Uh, do you know and, that is a And I point. simply cannot just enter a place of being without, well, you know, he just waves himself, at, waves his hands at himself. Normally when traveling through quiet streets, when the people don't want you to know that they are not looking at you, they look at you. But there were no peeps outside of windows or doors shuttered as we passed them. It was still the whole journey. Hmm. Well, um, I guess we'll continue looking through these books, but yes, if there's anything specific you want to look for, the library has been hours for hours, so we might as well use the time while we have it. 
Was there ones you were looking for on the top shelf? Uh, not particularly. I would just send him up to get them. You see the alpha kind of... <sighs> ah, splendid. Then I shall look as well. Just vertically walks up a wall. <laughs> uh, ah, right. I forgot he could do that. Uh, the rest of you, do as you wish. And anybody who would like to can give me an investigation check. Uh, and I will specifically need to know what you're looking for when you find a book. And based on your role will be how much about that you find out, if anything. Hmm. I so, want history uh, on the du like the Duchess's history. Anything that gives, like, any sort of, like, ah, so this is what she's known for. What What is her biggest, like... What in in her lifespan was her grandest achievement or any sort of like business venture that has made her this popular? Got it. All right. I'll go around the horn just so we can get everybody. So you're looking specifically for information on the Duchess, like backstory kind of stuff. Uh, yep. What about Ray? I know I saw you roll, um, but I didn't ask yeah. for rolls, so I will let you re-roll it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Ray is looking for books about the Raven Queen. About the Raven Queen. Okay. Mm. Would you allow that reroll? I uh, I will allow that reroll, and uh, you can absolutely look for stuff. Uh, I, okay, that's sure. better. It's a thirteen. Okay, uh, Revol, if you want to go ahead and roll, because I know what you're looking for. Uh, Brand, what would you be looking for, if anything? Uh, <clears throat> Brand will look for books about House de la Muerte. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> You also can look for the same stuff. You don't all have to do different things because higher roles will give you either different or more information. Let me get it's, all, it's all cookbooks up here. here. I fucking weapon roost. Ten, not, <laughs> bad. not good, not bad. Got it. Oh, so that's how you make a beef, Wellington. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Copnos, what would you like to look for? Hmm. I think just judging off of all of these hunches and hints that Kopnos has been sort of piling in his mind. Kopnos is going to try and see if he can find anything uh, relevant to dream magic or or magic that affects people's sleep. Okay. And this is just going to be a flat roll as well. <laughs> That's another natural 20. <laughs> Jesus Well, Christ. there you go. Copnos just looks at a book. It was all a dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It was just a dream. Oh no. I've said oh, too no. much. Mm -hmm. That's me in the corner. That's my me echo. in the spotlight. Oh no. It's, it's my echo. <laughs> oh my god. Well, all Leolin lost their religion, so. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, all right, and last, why Hikata? What would you like to look for? Um, why Hikata is not great in libraries, but uh, she's going to attempt to find a book that might have the layout of the Duchess's castle. Mm -hmm. Blueprint. Because the last time we went through, we only saw parts of it as we were running for our lives. Yeah. So uh, that's a nine. It is a nine. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> that is, so we've got a 13, a 4, 10, 20, natural 20, and a 9. So we will start as we did with you, uh, Ray Cool. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, as you are looking for information about the uh, Raven Queen, the first thing that you're able to note, which Raval might have known this, or it at least might give him a little bit more uh, comfort in having it confirmed, the cathedral that was mentioned earlier... You do know that they do have a sect of worshippers in that cathedral, which was pretty much assumed, but you are able to confirm that. You are also able to determine that the Raven Queen is a very mysterious entity, and while there's not a lot of information on them, you do see the word Shadowfell come up. It seems to be maybe where they're from or an area that maybe houses more of their worshippers. You don't have a lot of information on it, but you do see that come up. Um, and you know specifically that they are revered by something called the Shatter Kai, for what that means. 
You also I'm gonna know say that Ray has never seen that word before, and he has no idea never. what Shatterkai is. Yeah. Absolutely no idea. Perhaps yeah. one of your compatriots might know what that is, but you have no idea. Um, and, hmm? Sorry. Oh, wait, I think, did Raval ever actually mention? Raval mentioned who he was. Yeah. Oh, he then that's, so then. Race. Yeah, then you, you would know that that is the same race. Yeah, then you would know oh, that that is what your friend is. I, I okay. forgot that he mentioned that. So yes, you would know what the Shatterkai are. Friend. Only because of Raval. Mm, okay. uh, on top of that, you are also able to glean that they typically have an affinity for both life and death. And while you know Raval specifically uh, is all about the death, you do see that one of the domains listed on top of death is life. It is something, it is a, a balance, even if death seems to be the significant amount of the iconography. Uh, but with a 13, that is all you were able to get. Uh, all right, who was next? Uh, Ray will just close the book and just be like, oh, Haka would have the biggest laugh right now if he knew what I was doing. <laughs> oh, man. And he puts the book away and, and yeah, help. Yeah. All right. I need to double check a name real quick. Give me one second, Raval. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to give me anything. I rolled a four. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit because the, this is more about how much you get rather than getting nothing at all. You didn't roll a natural one. Um, <laughs> so, Raval, now that I've looked yeah. this up, uh, you are able to find some information on the Duchess. Not a bunch, uh, but one of the things, because you're in this library, there are tomes that basically chronicle the life of the De Oner lineage. And you find out that Sadra's father uh, went by the name of Dominic, although it seems rather intentionally that almost nothing is mentioned about him. There is a section of the book that seems like it would detail and chronicle his life, his times, his accomplishments, but nothing. Uh, it mentions his grandfather, uh, Germain Dionaire, that he died, that his, uh, some specifics about his family, but it doesn't get into a lot of detail. And as you turn the page and look to Sadra, a similar thing appears, and that is nothing. It's almost like somebody has completely scrubbed the books of a lot of Sadra's information, save for information about her as the Duchess, her extravagant parties, the massive amounts of wealth that she has been able to accumulate. But it seems everything about her past is very meticulously either left out or written in a way that promotes the wealth and strength and power of her family. Now, whether that is just fancy editing or whether that's because nobody has any information, it's hard to glean, but you are able to get at least that much. Brand, okay. as you look up the, the noble house of De La Muerte, you notice that it is one of 13 noble houses in Dementliu. Uh, just one of many. They are primarily known as a merchanting, uh, as many noble houses are. They are primarily known as a merchanting uh, family, specifically trading in uh, spices. The interesting thing about the De La Muerte group is that it seems that they are the newest house, and it seems like they haven't always been in Dementliu. It seems that there was originally a baker's dozen of houses, and sometime in, it seems the last 20 or 30 years, they just kind of popped up out of nowhere, which is odd, but considering what you guys have been through with the mists, things popping up out of nowhere aren't the strangest in the world to you, but you are able to glean that they are, in fact, the newest, and they haven't been around all that long. Uh, they also seem to have a uh, history of uh, prize fighting, for what that's worth. Uh, they seem to be uh, very interested in the sport of prize fighting. Uh, Kopnos, with your natural... 20, remind me, you were specifically Ooh. looking just for magics about mental influence, yes? Yeah, magics about mental influence, specifically uh, those that affect people's sleep or dreams, mm -hmm. and basically what the capabilities and potential of that is. Alrighty, give me one second to look this up real quick. A cat man looking about information about dream magic? Why does it sound familiar? Right. I've never heard of it before. Next, you'll tell me he's in a hat. You you specifically 
look up spells about mental influence, a particular spell in particular strikes you, and you're not sure if this is the spell that was used or some kind of variation of it, but the dream spell. It's a very high-powered illusionary spell that allows the caster to essentially insert itself into a person's dreams. And while that sounds familiar, it feels like what this creature was doing was not only getting into your dreams, but then trying to either give some control of it to you guys to pick out aspects of your memories that it wanted to use or, or take from you. It also always seemed to be prodding for more rather than just presenting images to you. And as you continue to do more and more research, you are able to identify some of the spells that might have affected your compatriots. You, of course, know about the sleep spell, but also it mentions a specific spell of fear, one that can be inflicted on any one individual and essentially incapacitate them or force them to run away. And perhaps this is something that was attempted, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, uh, but you didn't see any effects of that spell on anyone while you were on the island. The other thing that this mentions is that this creature, if it was indeed digging around in your heads, it was also probably using a spell that is called a scrying spell. And as you read the details of that spell, it seems eerily similar, not just in the components, but in the things that it can do to what the necromancer was doing on the beach. And it instantly clicks, ah, that must be why he was able to see the duchess in her abode. If there is anything else specifically, because I want to honor that nat 20, if there's something that I didn't give you that you're looking for, then by all means, if you want to follow up with a question. Hmm. Perhaps ways to counteract it? Okay. Uh, outside of just sheer force of will, you know that there are magical items such as a... Uh, it, as you kind of dig around for, for that in particular, there is something that is like a mind shield ring of sorts that when worn, it speaks of a magical ability to be able to block out intruders that are trying to enter your mind. But it seems like the kind of item that is both extremely expensive and extremely rare. Uh, but if there is perhaps a ring of it, maybe there is a spell of some kind, although with how expensive that ring is, it would probably be more of a higher level spell. So in your es estimation, the best way to counteract it is just to be prepared for it. And with this knowledge, I will tell you all above game that uh, because of that nat 20, I will be giving you guys advantage the next time this creature tries to enter your minds. But Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks, Connor. Nice. Yep. I did it. Yep. <laughs> Again, it's a natural 20, so you guys deserve to be rewarded. Uh, the final person was Waiakeda, who was looking for information. Remind me about... Uh, the Duchess's the map. Like, castle. Yeah. yeah. So you look up the Duchess's castle, and there's a lot of history on just how it was built and how it's a double-towered, spiraling mansion. The section that you guys remember being in was just one half of that particular mansion. Uh, and in the very center is that massive ballroom that you remember. And while you're not able to find the exact layouts of the plans for that particular mansion, you do find that the mansion is mirrored on both sides. So while you were in half of it, you're pretty certain that if you were to go to the other half, the layout of it would be almost identical. As well as that ballroom you are able to at least find the layout of that. Although it looks like it is just a very generic looking ballroom. There doesn't seem to be any plans for trap doors or anything like that. Just the two exits that lead to either side of those spiraling towers that make up the Deonair mansion. And with a nine, that's unfortunately all I can give you. Is there at minimum a like layout of the windows? Uh, there are. There looks to be on either side of the hall three very large pane glass windows that are very decorative, depicting the Duchess in various poses. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. 
And as all of you kind of walk around Raval as you come down off of the ceiling, having gone to the very top uh, to look for stuff, uh, I will allow one of you to make one more investigation check if there's another thing you want to look for. Uh, I'm going to say it should be cup notes. Um, mm. Just ride the hot hand, that's all. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't rolling hot tonight. Mm -hmm. But I do have a very low investigation score. Yes. So I'm just I'm letting you guys if there's one other piece of information you want I I'm I don't want to be here all day but are we allowed to discuss as a group what it absolutely is yeah want? you could figure out what you want to what you want to ask about and who's gonna roll it anyone have any ideas I got nothing hmm. is there any uh... memoir about the Duchess herself. I guess, yeah, okay. more information any, about the Duchess. Any living the, the, heirs the, that might be vying right. for the throne or something? The, the, hey, the, pro all right. the, problem, the problem I gleam from any of the lore I got from her is that obviously they're hiding shit, but they have all this wealth, and the wealth can't just fucking magically appear out of nowhere. So, wealth, is a, wealth and power so, is accumulated. So, so I, history of that? So if yeah, if you want to look up more day on air history, I will allow you to do that. And because only one of you is making the roll, I will allow the help action so you will have advantage when you roll. I do have a plus two to investigation. Take it. Help Please. action. Go. Okay. Help action. Twelve. Now here comes the question. Do you want to use your inspiration? No. All right. <laughs> Saving that for when I have to die. Yeah, right. save it for the death saving thrust. Yeah. What you are able to glean with a 12. You already were told that, I assume you all talked amongst yourselves. R Raval specifically mentioned that it was confusing that the history of the Deonair family seems to be edited and there seems to be missing pieces so as you scour the library and all of you bring back various books to try to piece together the history of the Dionair family you realize that while that wealth had to come from somewhere it wasn't how they grew up specifically Sadra and her father married a prosperous merchant with two dollars uh, two daughters, not two dollars. Two daughters. <laughs> no, yeah, he only had two dollars. No, he had two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> uh, they were a few years older than Sadra, and her father urged all of the girls to get along, but it was not her original family that created the wealth, which immediately fills in a blank for Raval. Oh, maybe that's how the money came about. And as you continue reading, you finally find something very, very interesting about the balls that this duchess likes to throw. Everyone is required to wear a mask. And you, uh, Ray, remember that when you had that conflict with someone at the ball, before they were turned to dust, their mask fell off. Oh. When they were blinked out of existence and by that i mean turned to ash and it was left there so what exactly go ahead. go ahead go ahead oh why exactly that's significant you're not sure with the 12 but the iconography of the mask and the specific reference of everyone having to wear a mask is very prevalent as you look up all of these different balls and the requirements and some of the outfits that people have worn all of them have a mask of some kind I will share that with the group for discussion. <clears throat> Maybe that's why that guy was dusted. Not because he struck at me, but because he his mask fell off. Hmm. Do the masks offer some sort of protection? Ray shrugs. Uh, I guess. Ray Maybe. will dig through his bag and put the mask on. Does he feel any different? You do not, but you look good. We okay. took them off. I know it. <laughs> we took them off and went further into the mansion. Yes? Mm, that thing. That thing that was chasing us was also wearing a mask, wasn't it? Was it? 
I don't remember. Above game, it was. It, it was when you first saw it. By the end, the mask came off, but yes. Yeah, it's partially melted. I have it in my inventory. Mm -hmm. It's a big, large metal mask that's partially melted because of yep. the, how we blasted him. So anyway, we started blasting him. Mm -hmm. Pew! I say maybe when we go to confront this duchess, maybe we put the mask on. Or... Offer... or... Go ahead. Mm. Was the Duchess wearing a mask herself? You all remember above game that the Duchess absolutely was wearing a mask. Perhaps we need to knock that mask off of her. Hmm. Maybe there is something fundamental that you can't show. Perhaps the mask may be her source of power. Mm. That does that does ring some sort of merit, because by what I read, it makes no sense how one can just magically obtain wealth and power from absolutely nothing. But the mask would make a fine way to gain some sort of power. And to hide it. Indeed. And For a mask Zero is a very good... Oh. Yes. He did say by removing her from power, he would be able to fill the void. Perhaps the mask is the vehicle by which to do so. Perhaps he knows more about this. I would be willing to stake my life on it. You hear Sophia chime in from behind you guys. This chair is squeaky. <laughs> Most of the chairs in here are. But that is good work, all of you. I, I guess we needed more hands. I, I suppose the question is now, what will you do? Priority no. number one is get Grimharl back. Obtaining this mask would be the second one, because the instant we do that, we have a bargaining chip with your necromancer friend. Though, we are missing a very key fundamental element out of all of this. We have no idea what this mask is capable of, and simply putting it on once we have it to deny the necromancer any sort of leeway. That would be a gamble. We've got some idea. Apparently it was able to disintegrate the person. Oh, yes. And while that would be a fun little party trick, I don't believe putting it in the hands of someone who can bring back the dead is a wise idea. I agree. Somehow I... we, we have to get to the end of this where neither the necromancer or the duchess wins. Oh, I could just put it on. I, I like... believe that was I like our that idea. intention. I don't want him to win. My point of revolve. <laughs> he seems like he would do bad things if he had power. He's good when he doesn't have power. Uh, that sounds like someone who doesn't wish to have their wounds mended. I'm Which is fine by me things. of all things. <laughs> Which is fine by me of all things, but, you know. In the long term, it would probably be best if we had that capability now, didn't we? Well, think of it this way. Would you rather your enemy have it, or would you rather a potential ally have it? That is I would a rather fair no point. one have it. I don't know. It seems know. like a bad thing for a person to have. I, I do not know if it is wise to make assumptions about magic we have no knowledge of. Hmm, but it's fun to dream. Yeah, who knows? It just might be a plain old mask, and the disintegration Re magic can just come from the Duchess herself. Raval snaps his finger. Ooh. By the, by the ravens! I can't believe I didn't just put it together. Our little spider friend, yes, it makes little to no sense how a creature with psionic and astral energies 
popping in and out of existence and putting people to sleep. Is there... Do you believe the mask might be a way to control such a beast? Hmm. Possibly. If it is magical, I suppose it is possible. Wait, but what if it is not controlled? What if it's like a, a, a creature that assists it? Uh, wizards sometimes have them, but perhaps on a grander scale. A familiar you speak of. Uh, kind of. The same kind of theory, yes. I, I don't know for sure, but a similar kind of bond between them? Well, if we get our hands on this mask and discover any inkling of conjuration magic, that theory holds true. Is there a way we could identify it without getting our hands on it? Because that sounds like the hard part. Hmm. That is the rub. We've all done our looking around in this mysteriously empty library. If we didn't find it here, I doubt we can find information on it just throughout uh, the city. Unless... I don't believe... Oh, go ahead. Hmm. <laughs> and he sort of like grimaces a little bit and he taps his foot on the ground. There were those hags. You, you wish to put your hands... You wish to put your faith in the, into the hands of a hag. Hmm. They were quite kind. We also don't know if they were hags. They might have just been old ladies. Old ladies hags with don't. lots of magical power that live in the swamp. Hmm. Rafal just <laughs> like slowly turns <laughs> to you. Yeah, yeah, Ray, Ray puts it together. It's like, hmm, yeah, hmm, yeah. We need to consider Brand, all uh, of our options. <laughs> Brynn's eyes go wide, and he, he grabs the book that he was reading, he slams it down on the table, and he's like, I forgot that I read this. We could go find these nobles. They came out of nowhere recently, like we did recently, and I know them. Hmm. Hmm. And they know the Duchess. I believe both are worthwhile endeavors. However, we do also owe those women for their assistance. That's true. We have a lot of stuff to give them. Oh, oh yes, but isn't doesn't that make your entire deal null and void considering that your friend didn't fulfill her part of the bargain? She did. Oh, well, then a lot of you are cursed, then. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, above game, she, we all stole what we needed, so we had everything. I don't remember who we all gave it to. Mm. It was I don't me, think we right? all were. Because I think it might have been you. Because I'm the strongest, so. Yeah. I held everything. For the carrying capacity. Ooh, lots of uh, directions we can go. So, oh, so I... Just a quick above game. Mm -hmm. I'm I still like I like all of these ideas, but I also want to throw out the table that like maybe we could like figure out magically or like otherwise about this mask if we talk to the clerics at the uh the Mother of Tears Cathedral. That's probably the best bet to identify something magical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is that, but we could mm -hmm. learn more information about the Duchess if we go to the house uh de Muerte. Uh, it sounds like you guys have three ideas. It's either visit the hags, the noble house, or the cathedral. So it's just about which one you would like to choose. Should we hold a vote? Yeah. Oh, God. Up, are we whatever you guys want to do. Democracy this? engaged. <laughs> democracy? All right. Hello. All I am right. biased. I say cathedral. I, I want to figure out what the fuck this mask is about. Thera, what do you say? Uh, I'll say cathedral as well. Sci-fi. Mm, hags. Uh, Mark. Oh, man. I also want to go to see that. <laughs> All right. That's two for the hags and two for the, the cathedral. Hags might Just... also have Connor, you're the tiebreaker. You're, you're the tiebreaker. Here you go. Right. Democracy wins, motherfucker. I <laughs> Everyone the... turns to come. I am. Uh... Uh... <laughs> 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 
why do I feel so nervous all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that's me in the corner. Uh, oh, hey, that's me in the corner. <laughs> your fucking echo... Get out of there. Your, e your echo looks at you, salutes, and fades away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, that's never I did it fades not even away. summon him. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I did bring up the hags myself, so I think my vote would be with the hags. All right, democracy All right. wins. You guys are going to go check out the hags. I will say, nothing precludes you from then eventually getting to the cathedral, but first we're going to go see some hags. Yes. Yeah, nothing okay. except time and Grimharl's impending death. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just let I'll just let you dumb idiots get yourselves cursed. I, listen, I'm... I, I'm <laughs> I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't go into any particular place, but time is time. Yeah. Time do be... I'd like to thank the Eagles I... for that lyric. I like I like to believe that Bosk was just holding, like, Monty's character sheet with a fucking lighter underneath yeah, it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Her digital character sheet. <laughs> There's, like, a little guillotine mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. strapped Feel to free to go wherever mm -hmm. you want. Lights <laughs> flicks the light Sorry, Feel free. If you want to go to all three, I've got... Two more sessions. It's up to you. <laughs> Question, Bosco. Hmm. You said it was like a day to get back, right? Uh, I said if you were to go from one end of the Crescent Moon to the other on land, it could take you a full day to get there. Is that how Ooh. long it's going to take to get to the Hags? No. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Because okay. oh. oh. I was like, if we're in the town where the cathedral is, and then we have to spend a day to travel to get to the Hags, I was like, let's. No, that's the... that's a good question. Yeah. That was a very good question. Yeah. So. I assume it's like an equal amount of time to like get to the cathedral and get to the hags, I assume, mm -hmm. Bosco. Okay, okay. Then yeah, then I, I have a follow up question, Bosco. Okay. Does the University of Dementliu have a dock? Uh it does. Can we seek out the dock and see if there are any boats on it? You for can... which to buy which to get to, to the travels? You Tomorrow. may absolutely you may absolutely give me uh a check if you want to go out there to see if there's any boats. A perception. Yeah, check. let's steal a boat. That'll that'll work. Honestly, it's faster than walking. Actually, no. Here's what we're gonna do. Give me a D100 roll. Oh fuck. Ooh. Call call yeah. higher low. Yeah. No, it's not a higher low. Oh, oh, okay. It's percentage. Oh my it god. Comes. Holy Dang, crap. Uh, 97 is a pretty good percentage. So. Congratulations, there's a boat out there. Yeah! A, a boat. A, not, only, not, not only a boat, but uh, a uh, it looks like a, what best can be described as a clipper in this world. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with that Holy kind of boat. Holy shit, we got a That's yacht! A, it, it, it looks to be Rich in pre boat. pristine condition dock there. It maybe belongs to somebody who was either at the library or frequents the library, but it is there now and there is no one at the dock. My now. Big Revol boat. Revol takes the helm. My now. <laughs> which, by, which, by the way, will significantly cut down your time because you don't have to go on any land. You can go directly from port to port. Ooh, Nelly. Which also means if you want to get to the cathedral, it would also help you get there faster later. So good job, Mark. Bro, we Thank got a fucking you. sea vessel. And <laughs> hey, uh, I may not be able to steer it, but I know a couple of cool guys who can. It's true. Yeah, that's the other thing is you guys do have to pilot this thing, but... For those of you that are not aware, clippers are absolutely massive ships. They're fucking huge. They're huge oh. ships. Yeah, do we have them? I'm sure like, no one. People will miss required. This. To... Oh yeah, you can you can sail a clipper with like two people. Oh, all right. It's, it's not easy. It's not, it's not, it's not optimal it. with every and not everybody knows how to <laughs> their way around a ship, but but you can do it. Especially because you're just going port to port. As long as you push it out into the water and get the right breeze, yeah, hopefully you can steer. Straight shot, basically. So, uh, do we all want to? Does anyone in game have qualms about stealing this boat? Uh, no, I don't. Absolutely, but Ray, Ray I do. Doesn't. I do. Okay, so I do have qualms. I'm sorry, I did do a little bit of googling. Uh, a minimum size crew, depending greatly on the size of the ship. But if you were talking about a full rig ship, the smallest of these would probably require a crew of about thirty or so efficiently oh. operated men. It is efficiency. We're not worried about that. This is a yeah. magical place, okay? Also, yeah. also you boat. should... Don't think I didn't take that into consideration. You should check the boat, is all I'm going to say. Do we what? have cannons, please? It's manned, <laughs> it's manned Oh my god, it could be ghosts. manned. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, dude. Uh, Fucking ghost ship? Let's go. 
that, is, that is true. We may have dudes who are on like shore is, leave who are just sleeping on the in the ship. Guys, we're checking this boat. Is, is there a term for that ramp that like you walk on to a ship with? Is there a term uh, for that thing? It's not the galley. That's the kitchen. What is it? The gully? No, that's not it. I used to know this. If, well, if there's ramp. a ramp to walk on the ship, Ray <laughs> will walk on to the ship <laughs> and just be like, hey, anybody Sustain here? The, the, gang, the gangway. Gangway. Yeah. yeah. I knew Ray it was a G just, word. Ray will just walk up the gangway and be like, hey, you is anybody that so on this boat? Sophia and the Alpha continue to do research as all of you exit the library. Oh, okay. And as you head down towards the docks, the docks seem to be the most ordinary thing about this. They are just pretty straightforward wooden docks. They don't seem to be extravagant in any way, but the boat that you step onto absolutely is. There seems to be a wooden rampway that leads up onto it. And as you uh, step onto it, I need everybody to give me an Arcana check. Oh, my oh boy. My best stat. Did we just find a ghost ship? Uh, sorry, I should not have an advantage on that. That's a 13. 11. Mm hmm Come on. Come on, D20. What? Whoa. What? Uh, Wait, what? I think what the computer happened? rolled it for you. It rolled twice. Uh, where are Ray Cool? Notes. Ray Cool brand. This is a brain. This is a brand brain nope. blast. <laughs> oh, <whoa! laughs> and there. He and he's in right. We uh, did it, guys. So why Hakeda and Raval? This is specifically interesting for Raval. Uh, as all of you get on to the boat, why Hakeda? You begin to get arcane energy just overwhelming you on the deck of the ship. Raval, you seem to fine-tune it towards the helm of the ship, specifically where the wheel is. There's something about this boat. Oh, you um, sense it too, do you? Yeah, all of you, I both hope... of you rather, both of you get the, the sense that this is conjuration magic of some kind. Hmm. No. Mm. Oh, bother. I hope this boat isn't self-sufficient by familiars. That would be so annoying. <laughs> Meanwhile, above game Zito, yo! Yo, <laughs> yo no, ho, no. ho! Above, <laughs> above game, yo, ho, ho, he took a bite of gum gum. I'm fucking in on this shit. <laughs> uh, by the way, per your question, as you get onto the boat, you do see that underneath on the bottom deck, there are rows of cannons. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that being said, would you like to approach the helm? I was just going to say yes. I will approach okay. the steering wheel of the boat. Uh, sure. As you do so, Raval, you, the arcane energy seems to concentrate on the wheel. And it seems like that conjuration magic is divinating from this helm. And as you get closer, you feel like you would be able to activate it if you touched it. Oh, boy. Raval is... Well, not looking a fucking gift horse in the mouth because Revolve's just like, oh my god, I could be extravagant and have a fucking clipper all at once. Let's fucking go. I'm touching it. Mm. But it's just uh, like, hey. Uh, as, uh, as soon as you touch it, go ahead and give me a... Da -da 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 -da. I gotta double Death check. saving throw. A <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's... Just know it's just save or die. You instantly touch the <laughs> wheel, it's save or die. All, all, all of a sudden, Revolt Re 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 uh, no. turns around and looks at Waikata. You are neither dying nor dead. What is your uh, purpose? Because, <laughs> because, you, because you passed the save, give me a wisdom saving throw with advantage. <laughs> oh my god, fuck off. I'm taking inspiration. Mm. All right, go for it. 17 both ways. And hey. it is a good thing that you do because as you touch the wheel and feel like the ship is almost, if a ship could be confused by an energy source, it would have been. But as you grip it with both hands, you watch as the sails instantly begin to be pulled to full mast. You feel the boat poof, dislodge as an anchor begins to be pulled up from the sea floor and you are pushed away. And it is at that point that both of you, having passed your Arcana check, are able to identify. It seems that this entire boat is manned by unseen servants. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. And as you grip the wheel, it seems you have brought the ship to life. Jesus. And are, are pushed out to sea. 
Was there a name on the side oh of the my. ship? Uh, there did not appear to be a name on the side, but you didn't really investigate the no, full size you of the can't, ship. You, Bosco, you can't do this to me. This is Why? Raven Love. It's supposed to be scary. I'm fucking smiling cheek to cheek right well, now. That's the thing about Ravenloft is it's not scary all the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> the SS Autonomous is setting sail. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> and as you guys set sail, it what would have been another couple of hours to, again, walk around towards the outskirts of town. If that crescent moon is sitting on the water, the best way that I can describe the land is that there is a section of Earth that kind of encompasses the top half of the crescent moon almost mirroring it you guys are very easily able to sail that water and what would have been a couple of hours is more like a half an hour as you cut through the water and are easily able to dock and it seems Raval, as you have your hands on the wheel that while you don't have a lot of seafaring knowledge the unseeing servants are basically doing all the work and as long as you keep your eyes on the water and miss all of the <laughs> potential crashing spots like the actual land any rocks anything like that you should be fine all right go all right boys welcome to the ss corvid there you go <laughs> someone's and as pissed off that we took this <laughs> and as you make landfall you are able to see probably what looks like about 200 yards away from the actual shoreline a set of three very small wooden homes. Huts. Hag mm. shack. It was a hag shack. A hag shack. Mm. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's a hag shack. It's a little old place where. You will lose your eyeballs. Yeah. So I just, I just want, I just want lose there to be one scene. Eyeballs. I want there to be one scene where, like, like fucking revolves at the helm and just looks over at Brand and just he just smiles at him with a fang grin and just goes, "Hmm, you're right. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't a good idea to give me toys. Things could be, you know, for the better." Uh, do all of you dis, uh, disembark when you make landfall? <laughs> You're going to say dismount? I almost I, said dismount, and I was like, no, disembark. The word is disembark. <laughs> Edward, you've been on a boat before. Disembark. <laughs> you've been on a boat and a horse. You should know the difference. <laughs> Good dismount by Wyakata. Yeah, excellent dismount. <laughs> Ten points from the Russian judge. Family guy falls into the sandbar. <laughs> Thankfully, I did not say that. But I feel like you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do do all of you leave the vessel? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. And as yeah, yeah, yeah. as you walk and make your way towards the the houses of the three completely innocent, normal old ladies, you see that there is smoke coming from the tops of all three of the huts, but the doors are closed. And while there is stuff strewn about the yard or what would be their yard, there doesn't appear to be any sight of those familiar faces. Didn't we have to knock last time? You did have to knock. Was there a special mm. knock? I don't remember. No, uh, I'm just saying. If that was, I actually I don't... It I, that, it, that I don't remember. Yeah, I think there was a special knock, now that I think back to it. Okay. What Ray, that knock could be, who knows? Ray, can, I, can I hazard a guess at what that special knock might be? If Wyhikata would like to knock on the door, they can. Uh, she will. She will go up to the door mm -hmm. and uh, knock on it. Not loudly, but enough to, you know, grab attention. Just... Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as you knock on the door for seemingly no reason in that particular rhythm, you see the door... And the familiar face of a very, very old, very, very tired-looking old woman... Uh, completely covered in brownish-looking robes, suddenly lights up at the sight of you. Oh, I remember you. The oh, what was your name? It was um, um, why, why, why can't I remember? Why Hakeda? Ah, why Hakeda? Ah, oh, that's right. What brings you to my humble abode? I believe we have items that you and your neighbors wished to uh, procure. Ooh. 
items. <laughs> Would you come in? Don't be a stranger and don't talk to my sisters. Ooh, <laughs> stuff. I love Insight stuff. Insight check? That was an information sure. that we got last time. Mm -hmm. What would that mean? 12? Can I roll it? Yeah, go for it. Mm. Sure. I got an insight of six. Jesus 24! Right. Uh, why, Hakeda? It is strange, but you're not really sure why. Raval, it seems more protective than like don't talk to them or I'm going to do something bad to you. Mm. Which makes sense because Raval is just skeeved out by these people no matter mm. what's going on so this is fucking works yeah. so well. She, she's definitely trying to keep you away from them but not necessarily in a malicious way. More of a you really shouldn't speak with my sisters right now. Why? Even with a 24 you're not really able to glean. Oh, we're too busy eating people. It's fine. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> So, come in, come in. What can I do for you? Items, I heard. Items. Is, is she inviting all of us? Yes. Okay. Into a very small hut. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure we can make it work. Oh, yeah, Christ. We'll make it fit. As, as you guys are able to squeeze in, it's really only uh, Copno, since you're coming in towards the rear, you have a little bit of a hard time squeezing in and have to kind of stand oh. in the corner, the back corner of the room. Yeah, as that's me in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Again. <laughs> See? I'm glad somebody got the reference. Oh, and, comes out full circle. and as soon as you step inside and feel yourself in the corner, whoop, poof, the door just seems to close behind you. And as mm. you as you all kind of cram in here, you notice that there's a large pot in the center of a very small fire. And they seem to stand on the other side of it and just kind of look expectantly and then motion to a very small table on the side of the pot. Drugs. Drugs. As if to say, if there's something that you want me to take a look at, put it here. Uh, Kopnos will, uh, having been given the objects in question to uh, return to these uh, delightful Lovely ladies. Lovely women. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely ladies. Uh, he will begin to offload the... Uh, Objects in question. Uh, what specific objects are you putting on the table? Just so I can uh, make Christ. sure that I remember. Um... I got them. I got them. We have a sheet of music. Mm -hmm. uh, we have... Oh, God. What? I didn't write down what the unique food item was, but we I have know there, it. There was a painting was one of them. There, you took a painting, yeah, I, I believe. You, you you did we take... We have a souvenir that was took a small almost trinket. There all was of the a food. flower, I think. There was like a rose, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something was an artifact of value. I didn't write down specifically what that was either because I hate myself. I do remember you guys grabbing it, though. So um, I will not we, also you have, we also remember, have another attendee's mask. Yes. I remember Grimharl grabbing rugs. I also that remember you grabbing... Rugs. Didn't you grab the mask off of the guy who was pooped? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. So, amongst all of the items that you're able to present, I also remember you guys taking just a bunch of different food. Uh, I have three bottles of wine from the cellar. That's what it was. It was the <laughs> wine. It was. it was the wine from the cellar. Um, are you presenting all three bottles or just one? Uh, I'll present two. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Hey. All right. Uh, are you, pre did you take the one that was maybe not alcohol and are you keeping that specific one? That was me. I have the one. You that's have blood. that one. Got it. Okay. Well, we're just going to use the B word now, I guess. Okay. Uh, you're I'm a vampire. Cool. Come on. What, bottle? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't yeah, bottle. Bottle was off Bottle. Yeah. Bottle makes yeah, it. Yeah. yeah I'm bottle. A I'm a vampire. I need some, yeah. I need the, I need, I need a bottle of liquid. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Uh, a, a, bottle of a bottle of fine. A bottle of red. No. What are just a bottle of red. <laughs> What listen, are listen, if not listen, walking listen, bottles? listen, listen, <laughs> wine is nothing but great blood. Connor, did you say what are humans if not walking bottles? I sure did. <laughs> that is a statement that is both <laughs> as accurate as it is bizarre. That's like saying the ocean is a soup. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah but in the hurts. sense of... In the sense of Raval, it's fucking, it's a soup full with battery acid. Oh, God. When you think about it, we're all alchemy jokes. I need to, I need to write down, I need to write down that humans are just walking bottles. How many, so, how many ounces of mayonnaise can I get? 
No. All right. <laughs> All right. As you put these items down onto the table, one by one, as they are placed down, you see the old woman pick them up one by one. First, the bottle, kind of inspecting it. And I'm going to roll, because I had a thing for this. Hang on. Oh, Bosco, right. I hope you don't get it backwards. I'm not giving her shit. No, that's fine. You don't have to <laughs> she, give them anything. She, she, I was not part of this deal. She no, you're good. You were, from me. you were not. Uh, all right, so that was the bottle. You see them grab some of the food. You see them take... Ray, uh, Ray Cole, did you present the mask, or are you keeping the mask? Oh, I'm, I'm giving the mask. Okay. Excellent, that's that. All right. Uh, the sheet of music you're giving. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. They seem to pause on the sheet of music specifically. You all notice that there's a little bit of a eh to her expression. <laughs> but one by one, each of these items gets tossed into the pot. And as the final item, which is the mask ray cool is tossed in there. They seem to be very, very happy about that one in particular as they toss it in and you watch a <sighs> almost like a smoke cloud erupt from the pot as they then slowly begin to stir. Well, I must say, while I am impressed with your haul, some more than others, I believe that my sisters will be quite pleased with this brew. And we can consider our deal complete. And they continue to be able to stir. Now, surely you didn't just come here for that, did you? Uh, I am afraid <laughs> not. Hmm. I sense these things. What can I do for you? You ever choke a bitch? <laughs> uh, depends on the bitch. We were hoping you might be able to provide us with some information. Oh, I do have lots of information. Fashion sense, maybe? Hmm? No, more oh. of the historical oh, nature. Historical? Oh, information about history. Well... History is a very complicated word. It is normally diff that is not what you meant. Uh, she's gonna look towards. Uh, was it? Cop no, it was Ray. Who was looking for? No, it was Raval. She's gonna look towards Raval. I got it. I remember. Mm -hmm. Raval just looks back at you with like a fucking like what the face like just like <laughs> complete oh. and other just like confusion like why me? What was it you were looking for? Oh, you're bringing me into this so oh, very well. A lot of you will own me for this. We're all in this, this together. together. Madam, though I am not along, I am along for the ride with these fine fellows. We seek information regarding a mask that grants one power, maybe even dominion over a creature that can phase in and out of reality. You guys are specifically act, asking about the spider. I'm I'm specifically asking about I'm specifically oh, the asking about the, the mask that she's wearing, and if it that is exactly what it is it's like commandment over a a interdimensional fucking alien. <laughs> uh, you you will watch a smile creep across their face. The mask of the Duchess. Mm, a delicious piece of history that would be. The question becomes, for what will you trade for it? I have Raval this really fancy rolls... hand axe. Raval rolls his eyes and pull. It produces the the bot the quote unquote bottle. You'll find this of a particular different taste from that of grapes. And I mean, mm. didn't we just give you the ingredients for the stew? Oh, I didn't. I didn't give her my bottle of wine until just now. Oh yeah, Raval was not part of the deal, so he technically didn't yeah. have to give anything up. Yeah, fresh from the cellars of the Duchess herself, so I believe this will be extra special in your eyes. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, goody goody gumdrops! Your charisma oh, is have... high, right? I got a three in this. Hell yeah! 
13. Mm. I do think it would be beneficial. Do you have another offer? Or is this your final offer? He just turns and looks to everyone else. Well, <laughs> I guess I will when... reach into my pack and I will pull out the big metal mask that was on the thing we melted. Oh, oh yes, Ooh. the mask of an undead hulking beast. You watch your eyes go wide. Did where did you get that? Oh, in a big creepy basement with a machine and a mad scientist who was cackling and a big hulking monster who was wearing this? Was it under the mansion? Uh huh. Indeed. That's where basements mm. usually are. You <laughs> can keep that one. Oh, okay. insight that. Yeah. Go ahead. Why does? <laughs> why the fuck does? <laughs> Brad that... does not insight. He just puts it back in his bag. Oh, oh very 16. well. I'll insight. Anybody can if they would like to. Oh, uh, nine. Here I well, know. with a with a natural one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with a natural one, all of you are able to get this uh, pretty easily. They don't seem to hide their disgust for that item. There is, specifically because they asked if it was in the Duchess's house, they probably know both the importance of what that creature meant to the Duchess, and you guys do too now, considering you saw that note. And number two, they don't seem to want any kind of an item that has anything to do with that. Oh, good. Oh, great. Cool. Oh, so not even not even they want to fuck with the Duchess. Mm-hmm. That. Despite the fact that we're looking for information on said person. They, they seem to take little trinkets from the actual party, but with that mask specifically. Because they took items from the home or from the party, but that item in particular and maybe who it belonged to because you all rolled so high, is the reason they want no part of it. It was on one of her, like, big, like, yes. scary monsters. On, the, on specifically it, the thing that she yeah. took Waihakeda, or, I mean, well, uh, Grimharl over. Yeah. Well, Correct. Well, well, gang, unfortunately, the only thing I could possibly think of that she would want out of this is... Hey, Bosco, I have a dumb question. I have a dumb answer. Do vampires in your setting regrow their teeth? Uh, they do oh, after a certain amount of time. Sick. I'll knock out one of my fangs for her. Oh! oh. Give me another persuasion check with advantage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just, just like, like, like Brock Samson in that one episode of fucking Adventure Brothers, where he takes out the cyanide uh, tooth, he just like wiggles his fang and just yanks it out. Uh, persuasion. With advantage. Oh my fucking god, Ten. Is this, I will ask you this, is this in conjunction with the blood? Yes. As you present the blood, they seem to be curiously looking all of you up and down, but when you yank out a fang and present both, they seem to get an even more sinister smile, and not even asking you to put it on the table, extends their hand to you for it both to be placed in there. Well, have fun. He hands him off nonchalantly. You notice that she puts the blood down next to the pot, but not in it, and pockets the fang. And as she does so, a deal is a deal. What is your query, vampire? Wait, he's a vampire? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Well, now that we're just using the V word, which <laughs> oh, that's mean. I oh no, but it's just, it, but it, but it's hard. But but you must admit it is your title. I do enjoy you. Hmm. Well, <laughs> we seek, uh, we seek to know anything we can about this mask that she wears. We believe it denotes some sort of power. We are hounded by a spider-like creature that enters the mind and creeps for information while you slumber. And we seem to believe, or at least have a theory, that the mask, due to the fact that the Duchess has grown in power, and yet no history denotes what that power is, the mask might be a key to that. To both of those things. You An are identification, a... if you could. You are a very, very clever boy. One Indeed. of my best features. 
Indeed, there is something about the mask that is very near and dear to Sadra's heart. Did you notice that everyone at the ball was dressed in their finest, that their masks were pristine? But it is not the mask itself. It is what the mask hides, what is behind the eyes, what it conceals, and what it presents in terms of power, eloquence, status. The mask is not the source of Sadra's power, but in order to remove her power, you must remove her mask. Do it. Mm. Congratulations. <laughs> just, from, just from the corner, two thumbs up. <laughs> there should be four. Now, where was I in Whoa. my monologue? Oh, yes, of course. The beast you have a question of. That, I'm afraid, is a complicated story, but trust me when I say it is fully under the control of Sadra. It works for them. It is their partner. It will do as she asks. To handle her, you must also handle the beast. Oh! Does anyone have the time, speaking of which? I... Revol turns and looks to the lot of you. That's more on your, on you, folks. I look outside. Brand, as you look outside, you feel the air get colder. And all of a sudden, all of you begin to get goosebumps as best you can. Either on your skin or the hairs on your arms begins to stand. And you realize the hag is no longer smiling. Instead, it is wide-eyed as you turn back to them. All of you should run. And I need everybody to give me an athletics or an acrobatics of your choosing. Oh. Wow. Wow, that's <laughs> so hog. I'm going to do athletics. She's, time. <laughs> she's not friendly after the sun goes down. That would have been some helpful when information. When the sun goes down. Uh, that's we'll 14. <laughs> 21. <laughs> 21. No way. It's the oh. triple. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Are you kidding me? Three twenty ones in a row. Guys, the prophecy. Times three. The prophecy. <laughs> oh my lord. Are you so kidding like, me? So like, does the Duchess die of like a heart attack? Oh, what a, what a like right now? <laughs> <laughs> Fox died. <stop. laughs> Were it so easy? No, no, I'm afraid. What, did Oral show up? <laughs> oh my god. Oral Redenbacher? That sensation on the backs of your necks, you don't know why. But as you feel it, you see the old woman say, Run. As all of a sudden, <laughs> you are shunted out of the building and the door <laughs> slams behind you. And then you realize the smoke from the tops ceases on all three buildings. This woman wasn't protective of her sisters because she didn't want you to interact. They were hiding. And as you turn to look, all of you see a horrifying sight. An almost vapor-like creature, black smoke in the visage of what can only be described as some kind of spectral being. Eyes completely gone. And where teeth should be, just an open, gaping mouth of smoke. The only identifying feature is a red dress. A tarnished red dress. As it floats about ten feet in the air, you see the true form of the Duchess as you all begin to bolt off running away from it. As this thing tears after you, I need all of you to give me another athletics or acrobatics of your choosing as you are now being pursued by the Red Death. Can I ask a question real quick? By all means. Can we run to the boat? You could either run to the boat if you think you can make it, 
or you can try to run to some place in the city. I vote for the boat. I yeah, I vote yeah, for the boat. I go for the boat. I, Get I off this have ship. A well, yes. maybe maybe you can't answer this. Never. Oh, 25. Oh, 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so much all right all right can i get a 21 no oh oh no oh no no uh, uh, mm. 12 yeah. that's like reverse 21 but <laughs> uh, yeah. if yeah. it's worth it, it's worth pointing out cunning action i can dash as a bonus action okay so just just throwing that out there uh, I will say then, for the purposes of this, I will let you roll with advantage. So if you want to give me another roll for you, you can. Sure, because that, we're not really in initiative, it. but I will give you advantage because you have cunning action. Well, it's another oh nine. My God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so, I... Ray Cool, I will say athletics or acrobatics you can make with cunning action as a, uh, yeah. you can be advantaged from now on. However, sure. that is still a nine. Give me just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I need to double check something. Is that, is that a... inspiration worthy? Uh, you're gonna find out now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll 10, be the 21, scapegoat. Six, nine, twelve, nine. Okay. Oh yeah, all of us did get inspiration, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. we did do that. You sure did. We did. We did, did. Everyone does have that, indeed. We done uh, did it. All right. Anyone who got below a fifteen, I need. Uh oh. Oh God. Uh. I need a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save. Yes. You did say you wanted it to be scary, Zito. Ah, I see. I see how it is. Mm -hmm. So it's mutiny. What then. is my wisdom? There Roll 20 has just been <laughs> not kind to me. Although, to be fair, the last the two rolls before that were with the go dice. Uh, 17? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 17? Yes. Uh, and Ray, you got a seven? Yep. Kopnos, you are too busy sprinting towards the boat, assuming all of you are going towards the boat. Is that the consensus? Let's get the yes. fuck out of here, VSC. Right. Get to the Corvid now. <laughs> As you all sprint towards the boat, Kopnos, you begin to feel not a prodding in your mind, but in your very being. As you are familiar with this effect, because you've inflicted it on many others before, as you fight off the effects of fear, however, Ray... You are not so fortunate, and the sight of this bestial creature bearing down on you, so powerful that these creatures in these huts are walled up inside, you now realize why there is no one on the streets at night, as you are considered feared. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. And I need now a, another round of athletics and acrobatics as you are about to jump onto the ship. Piss eight. Mm. Oh, oh, uh, that is a twenty-five. That's a six. I'm gonna use my inspiration on. That. All right, go for it. I think I'm gonna use my. That's two. A seven. Oh my god. That's a seven. All right, Why, Are you also using inspiration? I have to. I can't get right. one here. Six. Oh All right. <laughs> Thanks, right. roll-20! As Name. you continue to make it towards the boat, everyone is able to make it on board except Brand and Waihakeda, who attempt to jump onto the ship and slip and fall on the docks on the way there. And as they do so, the rest of you are on the boat, uh, this thing continues to barrel down at you. As you see it, point its finger at the both of you. Oh. Uh, why, Hakeda, you specifically get chills when you see what happens next. You see a familiar flicker at the end of their finger. A flicker that soon ignites the air into a ball of fire. As this thing launches a fireball at the two of you. Wow. <laughs> oh no! I, I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Okay, well, I'm actually good at dex saves, so 21. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm checking something, sorry. Okay, by all means. 
Hmm. Can I do something, Bosco? Uh, what would you like to do? Because technically we've gone through all of your stuff already. What's up? Am, am I on the boat? You are on the boat. How far away am I from the Duchess? Uh, the Duchess is barreling down on them, so they are probably maybe 40 or 50 feet away from you specifically. Okay, that's within 120 feet. Can that I use sure that is. Can I use that scroll of magic missile? You can on the next round of stuff since you don't have to move, but uh, not before sure. this happens. Also, for what it's worth, for getting on the boat purposes, I do have a, a climb speed and a swim speed. Oh, that might Ooh. actually be very helpful for you. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I rolled a 19 on that deck save. On a deck save? Brands uh, in the water like Michael Phelps. Just... All right. <laughs> all right. David Hasselhoff's to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Black dynamite to the boat. <laughs> no, never. Um, never do that. Why, Hakeda, you remember that this was a spell that eviscerated and left a friend of yours in ash. And as you throw up your hands in terror you are able to fight through the fire, much like you are, Brand, as you both take half of 27 points of fire damage. <laughs> so is that the, 13 the 20, or 14? It's, it is 13. Okay. Christ alive. <laughs> as you are able to stand your ground, and I now need uh, acrobatics or... Athletics from Waihakeda and Brand. All of the rest of you have one action. Uh, I would like to aid Waihakeda in trying to get onto the boat. All right. Uh, you knock away the board that you guys used to to get off the ship in the first place and extend your hand out for them to grab so you can pull them aboard manually. Uh, so you will have advantage. Uh, just I... to double check, Brand, you don't have uh, evasion, do you? No. Okay. Yeah, Rangers. Uh, like Rangers, yeah, that's a rogue thing, I think. I forgot Red you were and a Ready action. Moment they're on the ship, we fucking set sail. <laughs> Got it. You're ready in action to get the hell out of here. Uh, Ray Cool, would you like Time. to ready that scroll? Time to be a fucking nuisance. Yeah, I'm going to magic right. missile it. All right. So you don't roll for magic missile, it just hits. It just hits. So if you want to go ahead and roll damage on the Duchess, yeah. you can absolutely do yeah. that. So, so Ray then... is just Ray is just unfurling this fucking scroll, just like shit, 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 <laughs> shit, 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 shit. So it's gonna be. I had to pull out the clock for this one. <laughs> I believe it is three d four plus two for each one. Mm -hmm. So three d four plus six. Let's see how this goes. Thirteen force damage. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Thirteen force damage. Good grief. Do you do you want me to roll? Do I need to roll Arcana, or can Ray just use the scroll? He can just use the scroll. It was okay. given specifically to you, okay. um, as because all of all of the components and everything you would need for the spell, all the information is on that scroll. So yeah. as you activate it, you watch the the scroll unfurl, and the paper almost disappears in your hand as you watch <laughs> bolts of the arcane strike into this wraith. It seems to do damage to it. But the bolts seem to go through them as it cuts through smoke like an arrow. But it does seem to have done some damage. However, I still need acrobatics or athletics from Brand and Waihakeda. Waihakeda, you have advantage to get on the boat. That's a 14 for Waihakeda. All right. All right. Here we go. I'll just say Ray yes. shoots out the missiles and he's like, okay. huh, that works. Uh, okay, I can do magic, huh? Okay. Ka Kopnos, you are able to grab onto Waihakeda's arm and pull them aboard as they leap off the dock. Brand, you just barely catch the edge, and because of your climb speed, are able to pull yourself on board yourself. As everyone is now on the boat, Raval, you immediately grasp onto the handles of the wheel as you feel those unseeing servants once again <sighs> push you back into the water as you watch this wraith-like creature stop at the edge of the dock and hold out a hand towards the boat. Uh, Raval... Oh. I am going to need you to make a... What is this for piloting? Uh, I I will say just for the sake of brevity, let's make this a acrobatics or athletics as well of your choice. To steer this boat. 15. Uh, Raval, you feel the boat push back unnaturally fast thanks to these unseen servants. And as you hard to starboard to turn this ship, you watch as 
this creature throws another fireball out into the bay as it whoosh, all of you feeling the heat and the power of this spell as it goes right past the ship as you take off into the bay with this thing simply standing on the dock as you were able to make your escape from it. <laughs> Knowing that now looming in the streets is the Red Death. Oh, crap. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Masquerade, Red Death, I see what you did there. But good news, she can't go over the water. Uh, we don't Get want... fucked, bitch. Uh, mm, uh, I look forward to our new life at sea. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. That is an interesting question, Bosco. Did it seem like she couldn't chase after us, or she just stopped of her own volition? It seems like she stopped. So she can't go over the water. That, that actually doesn't answer. That's exactly what that I am, means. I am in a prison of my own doing right now. <laughs> As all of you are on this boat, where would you like to steer it? Do you want to go back to the university? Do you want to attempt to make landfall to get to the cathedral? Wait. Or do you want to head for somewhere else? I Ray fucking I vote the cathedral. No, no. Ray, Ray brings up a great point. Like, Ray... Ray would bring this up. Wait, if she's over there, then who's who's guarding Grimharl? We don't know, but she could be anywhere. We're not Probably certain what this. Probably that big monster thing. This is her domain. I don't know if she can be anywhere she needs to be. Hmm. Well, she can't float over water, so there has to be limits. Hmm. That's why she has her little spider friend do that. If she's over there, then maybe Grimharl's left unguarded, or at least she's not around Grimharl. This might be our only chance to get Grimharl when she's not present. Given our last attempt, what makes you think this isn't another trap? Ray brings up a finger and then lowers it. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, Cathedral. Damn it. I know. I want it to be too. But... Ray, Ray, like, 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 kicks the air, and then he accidentally kicks an undead servant. And he's like, "Oh, oh, oh sorry." <laughs> uh, as you, as you guys are steering out into the bay, it looks like she's once again conjuring arcane energy, and it seems like if you don't pick a spot to go, something's coming your way. No, we're going to the, the cathedral. We're going to the cathedral. I'm the, I'm the motherfucker who's piloting ghosts right now. I say cathedral. Cathedral. Yes. I mean, as you ate a fireball, so we need as to you watch the arcane energy start to swell around them, Raval, with every magical fiber of your being, you tell these unseen servants to essentially hit the gas as they full mass the sails. You beginning to steer out of the port, and as you begin to put some distance between you and that creature, all of you who are tapped into the arcane can feel it start to subside as it seems whatever was coming at you stops and as you turn around you notice that almost as quickly as it appeared it is no longer on the dock as you as you navigate the bay and push out towards the city you once again on your right see that massive mansion on an island in front of you you see way off in the distance the very small island that housed that lighthouse and to your left you see the numerous ports that allow you entrance into various parts of the city. Raval, with your knowledge of the lay of the land, you are very easily able to find the port basically due, nor or due south of the cathedral, meaning all of you would have to travel due north to reach it. And as you make landfall and pull into the port, you all have a very uneasy feeling that it is going to be a mad dash to get to this cathedral as soon as you step off this boat. I mean, I we're ask, here now. I, we don't have any other choice. Yeah. Can I ask, can I, can I do something real quick? Is it possible I can, like... Can I impart onto the Unseen Servants an arcane lock by which of saying a password in order for, them to use, for someone to use the helm? Because if I can easily just fucking steal it, that's bad. <laughs> uh, you you feel like you were able to quote unquote attune to it, so that it would not be super easy for someone to just get on this boat and take it. 
Uh, however, if you would like to try to up that threshold, I don't know if you have access to Arcane Lock, but if there's a creative way that you can think to essentially lock down the boat, I will allow it. Oh, um, there, what if there we put is. a blanket over it so no one can <laughs> see it? Go oh, ahead. oh no, oh no, there is. Uh, I'd like to take one of my ceremonial knives, mm -hmm. cut where the raven is on my hand, and mm -hmm. smear the blood on the handle. Ooh, I do like that. I will I say I wish to stake claim. Normally, I would ask for an Arcana check, but I'm going to ask for a Religion check since you are channeling your God specifically to do this. Nineteen both ways. <laughs> you feel as though something emanates from your palm as you press the the bloody palm to the handle and as you in a clockwise motion smear it around the wood seems to soak it in and you feel as though that unless someone is touched by the raven it would be impossible impossible for them to access this boat oh fuck yeah as you feel nice like this boat is now under the protection of the, the raven queen nice i call arcane dibs <laughs> yeah, no, that was cre I, I, that was creative. That's what I was looking for. That Heck being yeah. said, all of you know that the cathedral is probably maybe a, a fifteen to twenty minute dash directly towards the heart of the city Jesus from this port. Christ. This was as fast as I could get you guys. We gotta go. To twenty yeah. minutes. We gotta go. We go. You feel like if you sprint, you could probably cut that down, but a walking distance. I wish we would have known that when we were choosing. I would have gone back to the fucking clown, the college, the clown college, I, the clown. Yeah, honk honk. <laughs> I think that going to the university is probably just gonna lead the red death to Sumer. Yeah. Well, we don't yeah. know. It, it seems, at least, that people are Two safe more. indoors, but we okay, don't know that, that for sure. But, I, but I also would like to point this out to you guys. We may be able to get a little bit of resources from the clergy. No, well, trust me. I know. Mm -hmm. And we're here already anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we need the protection <laughs> of God. Or at least anime. If we have yeah. at least the power of if anime on our side. one of those on our side, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Running. <laughs> yep. yep, running yeah. time. Booking it. Full All speed. Right. Ooh, is this now, are we considered in an urban environment now? You are, so you would be able to use your favorite mm. terrain. Yes, yeah, so we can all either, uh, wait, 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 uh, we can, where is it? Hold on, I've got it. Natural Explorer. We can't become lost except by magical means. Correct. Uh, we remain alert to danger even if we're engaged in another activity, such as foraging, navigating, or tracking. Difficult terrain doesn't slow us down, and... Uh, that's it. Because we're All not right. traveling. I'm not traveling alone. So, yep, we can't move stealthily. But yeah, stealth is beyond us. Is there anything <laughs> anyone would like to do before you disembark? Can't think of anything. I can, All I right, my piece. Then, as soon as everybody is ready, I'm going to need athletics or acrobatics of your choosing, as you know something will be waiting for you. Twenty-two. Another natural one. <laughs> Whoa! And then can I have a nat 20. Can I have one of Theros' nat 20s? Can I have oh my goodness. one of those? What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, hey, 15 with, for me. With my Ray Cool, Ray Cool and Kopnos, because you both rolled a natural 20, as all of you disembark this boat somewhat gracefully, why Hakeda? The manipulation of the arcane has left you a little bit flustered. You once again stumble down the ramp and trip onto the deck, but rather than be slowed by that, Kopnos and Raykul, you're both able to pick them up and forcibly move them forward as you don't lose any actual time. As you hear the sounds of screaming coming from inside the city, and as you all turn to look at it, to your left, you see an individual looking like he's about to scramble into his house as that figure once again stalks down the street. <laughs> and with, again, another finger, they point at them, and Ray Cool, you know this all too well as you saw it up close. The man in the streets immediately <laughs> turns to dust as their eyes, or what would be their eyes, 
whip towards all of you, and I need another athletics or acrobatics from all of you. That's so Time cool. to Why move. Did she disintegrate us. Fifteen both ways. Oh my god, it's six. I'm three. just I'm incapable of moving. Oh now. wait. Oh, it's another it's another round of okay. <laughs> it uh -oh. sure is. Oh, oh no. goody. All right. Uh, I she could use a little bit of inspiration on this. You could. That's up to you. Yeah. You know what? Do you, do you yeah. choose to? Do you choose to? Do you she choose? Just, she just dusted it, dude. I'm fucking burning yeah. inspiration. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm using curious my inspiration. question because okay, she, was, of 14. she disintegrated that guy, but she used fireball on us. Correct. I'm wondering. Oh, I don't know if I can say this. With yeah, let's not fuck there. around and find out. <laughs> I'm just curious because it's like, why didn't she disintegrate us? Uh, okay. Uh, let me let me tell you a little bit of something something here, Mark. Uh, I'm I'm two for two on fireballing from a Bosco game. No, no, no you're fine. You're fine. I'm yeah. fucking good. Yeah. I'm not saying don't check it. I'm just curious about that. To be to be fair, Mark, it's an accurate question that perhaps would best be explored at a different no, point I in time. Think, yeah, when we're not yeah. running for our life. Uh, that being said, there you the re go. okay. So that is a 25 for Kopnos. Uh, Ray Cool got a 14. It's a 23. Why Hikata got a 6. And we have a 15 from Raval and Brian. The brand is down there. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, Why Hikata? Something seems to be catching your attention or slowing you down, but you feel shaken to your core. That fireball bringing back memories of your friend. You just can't shake how close you were to the exact same fate. And as you do so, it slows you down from the rest of your compatriots. And you look up to see this cloud of a human being, or what used to be a human being, or maybe still is, barreling down on you. And it gets within 10 feet of you. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Fifteen. Why, Hakeda, as this thing surrounds you, you watch it almost grow in size as it attempts to almost feed itself in through your nostrils, digging up inside your mind, looking for information as you take 18 points of psychic damage. Holy fuck. As you now feel like this creature, while maybe its partner was trying to dig for information, this one feels like it's trying to subdue you. Uh, and I'm going to need athletics and acrobatics from everyone. Crap. Are you still up, Mark? I am. Oh, okay. Ooh, Natural 20! Okay, 18. 23. Has has Wyakata like stopped in place at this point? Or... Uh, they they look like they were moving, but that this thing has barreled down on them. They're still trying to get away, but it looks like the the vapors are trying to invade their mouth, their nose, just to seep inside of them. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so I see. I see three acrobatics and athletics. I'm missing Why Hakeda uh, and Kopnos, yeah, I believe. Yeah, I was trying I'm to think if that wanted Bosco, to do something. Would you allow else. would you allow hit and run tactics with cunning action? Um it depends on what you're looking to do. I'm just I'm wanting to dash as my bonus action and shortbow this thing while like I'm dashing backwards, basically. Um I I will allow it. It will give Why Hakeda advantage on their check because we're technically not an initiative. It won't really do damage. Because I I'm assume okay you're trying to distract it. Okay. Yep. So just well, bam, a twenty one. Oh, uh, wow. That would hit them. So you will have advantage on your roll, Waikata. Okay. Uh, I was trying to think if I wanted to do something else. Just, just like an arrow will just go through, like, like it's like using its hand to like suck out Waikata juice, and then like an arrow just uh. hits the hand. Like, don't, I'm it. not sure I like the phrase "why Hakata juice." Y you you should have. You, you should have. No, 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 Thero. You should have used the proper term, tree sap. Uh, Cut, right, no, so right. you, are you trying to do something other than move towards the I, cathedral? I was going to try and help Why Hakata, but it looks like uh, Ray's got it covered. Um, 
It, it's, God, this, isn't, this, isn't really natural, this isn't really like a regular turn order, so I don't want to take yeah. up too much time with my yeah. smoke yeah. bullshit. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna athletics and and see what's All right. what. That's another nineteen. Ooh, that is another. Oh boy! Thank you for that advantage. That's oh so my goodness! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! Uh, that is a nat one a that got turned to a natural twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. it was a nat one on it the other side. It was a nat one. one. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> as as why Hikata, you see this thing seeping into your very being. You hear a. <laughs> as an arrow whizzes by your head and straight through these vapors as it seems to cut the smoke and you duh, feel like you can breathe and think for just a moment as you begin to sprint forward. All of you are now at the doors of these cathedrals and I need one more athletics or acrobatics to get inside the massive double doors as you run through the courtyard, looking to your left and right and seeing that there are no worshippers outside of this building. 24! Natural 20, oh my, 24. Is, oh yeah. my goodness. What is this? Ooh. Heaven or hell bullshit. <laughs> Can I, on that nat 20, assist Ooh. Ray while also moving? Uh, I will allow it because Kopnos and there wasn't two nat 20s this time. So I, I will need a dexterity saving throw to be able to grab them. Okay. It's Did okay, I, Mark. But with, I, a nat, with a nat, with a nat. Oh my God. Oh my Lord in heaven. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, is that three oh nat twenties in a row? That three is in a row. Three, wait, wait, three in a row. Three in a row from Mark three Allen Jr. What? Oh my god! Holy shit! Never have I ever. Why, Hakata? As, as, as you are at the back of this chase sequence, you watch as Raval immediately runs to the doors and pulls them open. Brand, you slide down and pull out your crossbow just to provide any kind of covering fire. Kopnos, you continue to sprint and don't even look back. However, Ray, as you have been pretty consistently sprinting through every possible obstacle, you trip right at the finish line. And as you turn back, the last two things you see are why Hakato sprinting towards you, grabbing you off the ground and almost heaving you through the door. Revol, as you slam it closed with some help from Kopnos, you hear an explosion crash against the door as you watch smoke billow in from beyond or below and the side of the door. But not the vapors that you remember, rather smoke from a fire as you slam the door shut. Oh. And as all of you begin to catch your breath, tired, having sprinted through these cities, you feel like for the first time since this thing appeared, perhaps, maybe, you will get just a moment to rest. And that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Right. I, I think we haven't had a string of natural 20s like that since the you, S series. You just saved Ray Cool from a fireball. I know. I know. So well done. I don't know that I've ever rolled three natural. I don't think you ever roll. have, and it was clutch because I was not going to pull that punch at the end. Um, if Ooh. you failed to check outside, you were getting hit with that fireball. Uh, okay, all right. I get um, it. Yeah, oh, and it was not. And it was not. It was not going to be a base fireball. I'm just letting you know that. Oh, yeah. It wasn't oh, going to yeah. be a fun oh, yeah. fireball. It was going to be an no. fun fireball. It was not going to be just a level three, but it doesn't matter because you blocked it with the door. Uh, well done, guys. We that's can't that's believe... an incredibly sturdy door. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it's also a a, a, it's a holy, holy door. Place. Yeah, it's a holy place. Yeah. They they've got some holy reinforcements. Door. That I can't being said, that moment was captured on stream. That's take a take incredible. a minute because now it's smooth jazz time. Let's all relax. It's good. Everybody's fine. Holy Hooray! Shit. Good it's game, guys. Over. Great stuff. Good game. I, I seriously don't think we've had a string of natural 20s like that since the S that, series. The fact that you guys were nat 20ing the entire run. because a lot of nat 20s tonight. Kopnos and, and, and Ray Cool nat 20 to get off the boat. Revol nat 20 during the sprint. And then Y Hikata with three at the end. Like, that was insanely clutch. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Oh, I, that has... 
literally never happened to me. I've maybe rolled two in a row a few times, but I've I don't think I've ever rolled three natural twenties in a row. I gen genuinely and granted, I will say it's assisted. Because one of them was advantage because of Theros. It so was, but you know what? Be, because he it had was cutting only action. Fair. It was yeah. only fair that I turned it back and saved you. If it, if honestly, I love the narrative of Ray Cool saves you, you save him, and you duck behind a door before a fireball. Oh that was God. so cinematically satisfying, and you guys absolutely deserve to get out of there unscathed. Hey, you want to know something, Bosco? My entire fucking ser my my entire career in playing tabletop RPGs, I have never, as a player, despite always wanting to, never owned a vessel. This is now my first in my <laughs> there you go year tenor of playing this. How game. does it feel? Oh, Ooh. fucking feels great! Finally, yeah, you own a boat, question, motherfucker. Question, Bosco. Do we level up? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish after all that I could let you guys level up, but unfortunately, Damn it. no. Damn yeah. it! No, no, no. A valiant yeah. effort, Sarah. But well, hey, okay, track, by the way, sure. I would like to personally congratulate myself because this might be the oh. first time that I've DM'd where I didn't keep everybody for four hours. I actually ended on time. Yeah. So I'm going to just go ahead and pat myself on the back real quick. Yeah, we were Fuck on yeah. time last week, yeah. too. And no, yeah, we congratulations. I went no, to no, close to 11. Here, here's the thing, though. The only issue was is that I had to go to sleep. But you know what the fucked up thing is today? I don't have to. Well, shit. Oh, I tried God, to keep geez. it to ten. I could have. Oh, I had man. more, but I guess that's just next week. If you want to go four hours, we'll go four uh, hours. Yeah. Well, that that will also depend on what my schedule turns out to be. So you let me know. It's, you it's guys crap, let me know. Dude. I have enough to go for four. I have enough to go for three. So it's up to you guys. Oh man, that's fucking nuts. It's a lot to discuss and a lot to take in. But Ooh. what a what a fabulous session, Bosco! Thank you yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, genuinely. thank you guys for playing. Like that's only that's only interesting because you guys were in it and sold the danger and felt the fear. So I appreciate it. What a wild ride! Thank uh, God I wore my yellow pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, before we take up too much more of your time. Let's go around the horn and de-introduce ourselves. Starting with Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you, and what are you up to? You can find me in the Guinness Book of World Records for longest <laughs> bad luck streak broken. Uh, <laughs> I'm right up there with the Chicago White Sox. But um, no, you can find me on Twitter and uh, what's it called? Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Protech Gaming. Find me on TikTok at at, uh, at Mark Allen Junior VA, uh, and I'm I'm gen my brain is so overwhelmed right now. Genuinely, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, music stream on Sunday. I I spin a wheel. It gives us a genre, and we have three hours to make it. Uh, last week we rolled up, or rather we spun up Jungle for the second time, and I made some dark Jungle because I wanted to make it spooky for Spooky Month. I don't know if I'm going to try and make a spooky one again on Sunday. I might just make something normal because that was a lot of stress, but we did it. Uh, so swing on by on Sunday. I'm also trying to get back into more streams regularly now that this big project I've been working on has been uh, slowly wrapping up. Uh, so more stuff soon. I hope to be getting back to video game stuff soon. I, today, I just took the day off because I haven't had a day off in like two and a half months. So it was nice. Um... Check out Dr. Stone. It starts airing again tomorrow on Crunchyroll, or today if you're in certain parts of the country. Um, sub or dub, watch it. It's great. I, I enjoy that show, even if I'm not in it. Uh, yeah. And oh, catch me on Goblins on Saturday. I'll be right back here uh, playing Estic, who is ready for adventure and not nearly as dark and sad as Waihakaden. <laughs> That's it. Excellent. Sci-Fry, where can they find you? And what do you have to uh, do? You can find me at twitch.tv slash sci-fry. We got a lot of, uh, just a whole lot of variety gaming coming up. Big releases coming out. We're very much looking forward to the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. Yes. We're going to go deep on those games. I'm very excited for three of my favorite games to be widely available. Yes. For the first time in like two console generations. So, uh, so we're going to do a big old sink our teeth into that one when it launches on the 24th. 
Other than that, I run D&D occasionally, but my games are on hold right now because all of my players are going to TwitchCon. Uh, but we're probably going to run some uh, one-shots this month, including uh, potentially a one-shot of Vampire the Masquerade. Ooh. So if you're interested in that system at all, you know, check me out. Right on. That's it. Excellent, excellent. God, I'm excited for MGS3. Theraplot, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Y'all know, y'all know. Uh, you can find me over on Twitter, uh, Therapod Art, Blue Sky Therapod Art, uh, Twitch, Twitch.tv Therapod Art. Uh, also on YouTube, where I'm posting uh, teasers for uh, this funny little project called uh, Oversold Spirit Spark. It's got a, a whole bunch of my kooky characters and other stuff in it. It'll be done when it's done. Uh, commissions are open. Again, I'll draw your furry characters. I'll draw your D&D characters. I could draw them holding hands. I could do that. You can't you say sick. that on Twitch. You, you uh, sick. You that's sick. too lewd for Twitch, dude. You God sick damn it, degenerate we're... fucks. I will draw it. We're fucking TOS now. Thanks. <laughs> oh, man. Monty's going to be so pissed. <laughs> but yeah, commissions are open. I'll draw anything you want for the right amount of cash. Uh, and last but... But also what's cool is uh, Saturday, Gobtober, I'm playing Anura. Uh, I do I do crazy shit like awaken baboons and <laughs> and have and have a child that I need to buy a crib for. That's the motivation for my quest my quest. Holy it's shit, crazy. that episode Wait, went fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, a lot can happen in a year. But um yeah, that's that's it. That's all I got going on. Right on. Zito, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Well, if you head on over to twitch.tv slash Zito slash about, all my socials are in there. Every single one of them. Uh, please check us out uh, over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where tomorrow I'm debating if I'm going to draw a little bit ahead of time, followed closely by playing uh, indie ga a, a specific indie game, because Friday I'd like to do some Steam Next games. Uh, however... I've been playing this game called Sea of Stars, which is basically a love letter to Chrono Trigger. And it's fucking really good. It's, think of it this way. The gameplay is like if Chrono Trigger, Golden Sun, and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga was all mashed together. Hmm. What's that game called again? Sea of Stars. I am putting it on my list. Dude, it's it's a fun time. So I think that Ooh, might be what I do. Yes, it does. Uh, that'll probably... Yeah, it's from the devs of The Messenger, too. Yep. Uh, you will catch me probably playing that tomorrow after I do a little bit more Kobold designs, which I'll be selling off on my Discord. Please consider joining the Discord if you would like to purchase them, uh, along with other little benefits as well, uh, which I'm slowly adding all my D&D &D content onto it, uh, that I can sell that's not on DMs Guild. Uh, Friday will be uh, a bunch of indie games from Steam Next, and... Uh, Sunday will be carts, as per usual. If you like to go fast and like absolute random bullshit, go with a bunch of streamers and friends of the chat and regulars of the chat, then by God, head on over. It's a free video game. Excellent. Uh. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh. All right. We, no, no, something. it's not your fault. Uh, Je Je Jehalem said something real quick. Buy a Kobold from Zito and then pay Thero to draw your new OC holding hands with them. You know what? Fucking fair. Do it. Mm -hmm. Fucking do it. Mm -hmm. Do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right on, right on, right on. Uh, we also uh, couldn't have had this wonderful experience without the DM extraordinaire, Edward Bosco. Where can they yeah. find you, and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Again, I have to throw it back to the players and to the audience. It's really a team game when it comes down to it, and I really appreciate these guys showing up and being involved and being immersed and doing what they do because that makes it real for all of you guys. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for playing. You guys did a hell of a job, and I, I cannot wait for next week. Me too. Before we move on, I do want to say something. 
I want to throw right back into your face, Bosco. This okay. is the first time I've ever been a player for you where you've had me on the edge of my seat from like the fear and anticipation and the adrenaline of everything that's going on. It is so incredibly rare to have that in a tabletop setting and you fucking killed it tonight. So you should 100% take the win, own it and be proud of what you did tonight. Cause that was incredible. I, I appreciate that. And I'll take it. Thank You've you very improved much. A lot appreciate it since last year. So good job. I'm, I'm trying, man. I'm oh, watching yeah. a lot. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the session. Absolutely. I enjoy, I, I too enjoy very much. Yep. Yeah. The way you describe stuff is like, really really good very i can't i can't take too much credit i i've said this before but i've been trying to watch a lot of clips of roll 20 or not roll 20 uh dimension 20 uh with brennan lee mulligan and critical role with matt mercer i don't have time to watch the full campaigns but those two are so good at immersing people and describing stuff that i figured if i could just watch enough clips of them i could through osmosis start to take some of their stuff so I give credit to those guys. There's people way better at this than I am, and I'm just trying to get better every day. So it means a lot that you guys say that, and I will take this win, and I will come back next week and try to do it even better. Hell yeah. Yeah. But we can't forget yeah. about you, Connor. That is true. Uh, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com, as well as uh, Tumblr and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. Uh, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, currently playing through Yakuza Like a Dragon, Deus Ex Human Revolution, um, and also uh, just to reiterate on the uh, on the twenty sixth tentatively, I'm thinking the uh, last Thursday of the month before Halloween. Uh, I am going to be streaming Alien Isolation, but every time I die, I add another layer of one hour of silence, but it's occasionally interrupted by a sound. Uh, I hate that so I, much. I am, <laughs> it's going to be so been, much fun. It's an idea that I've been wanting to put into practice for so, so long, and I figured now is probably the time. Hey, uh, hey Connor. Hey, yes. Connor. Yes. You mean like this? Well, <laughs> yes, precisely. <That. laughs> I sure hope chat got that. Oh, they I'm did. sure they, they did. I think they did. Okay. Yep, they did. They're saying it in chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh yes uh that'll be having on the 26th tentatively uh mm, yeah also check out my dms guild where i release fifth edition homebrew content including uh, all the subclasses that i've made over the last couple of years and the elemental spell tomes that i've been working on recently including the geomancers uh spell book uh, that's my latest one that I released. The Fulgermancer's Spellbook is currently in production and hopefully will be out by the end of the month. Uh, that's about it for me. Uh, this episode is brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die, Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice! <laughs> listen, listen to that quality. Mm. Oh my goodness. Hear that? You're the crispness. You can only get that Sick with quality. Die Hard Dice. Man, did you, if, did you like that sound effect, chat? Did you like that? I'm a sham. That was a bag of sunflower seeds. I, I can't believe you went on the internet and told lies. Well, I could. If, you, if you'd warned me, I would have gotten my box of Die Hard Dice. That's right, box. Because you can get so... Th this baby can hold so many Die Hard Dice. Tell him, Connor. It's crazy. It's like a, like a whole... Like a whole thing, you could put a bunch of dice in. Just, just grab a grab a handful, and you can get yourself one. Em. You can get yourself one with the code Unexpectables. You can save ten percent on your order when you shop at DieHardDice.com. Uh, as well, check out our spring store. We've got T-shirt designs, stickers, uh, mugs, water bottles, what have you. All of that over at our spring store. Get yourself some Unexpectables related swag and be on the lookout for more designs in the future. And we also couldn't do this week in, week out without bits and subs from wonderful people like you. Uh, where, do we, where do we leave off? 
It was a while ago. I don't know if Bosco read any before I. Mm. I believe the last one that was it was Killer Chansey was the last one I believe. Yeah. Killer Chansey. All right. Then the next one would be Callum Draws. Thank you for the ten bits. Uh, nope, that's the Loop Guru one. Uh, yeah, it would have been a later one, or I yeah, could be completely I wrong. I think it was like uh, ten. Here's bits. A, here's a different one. Here's a different Killer Chansey one. Uh. Protoss103, think of the 45 bits. It would be funny when you find Grim Harl and she's just having a spa day. <laughs> oh my god. She's, she's just Where in, have you guys she, been? She's but... just in a vat of mud, just, just like exfoliating. <laughs> Bubbles. I'll kill, I'll kill her myself. <laughs> Where have you guys been? Uh, Dice Ruler, think of the four bits. Can't watch today. Good luck, guys. Catch you in the VOD. Fair enough. Blackfoot Fair, I think over the 43 months. Shouldn't each mask give special powers and a cool vehicle? Yeah. Nah, nah, that's goofy. I mean, mm. they should also be made of ivory. Or perhaps porcelain. What is this wacky racers bullshit? I mean, I was referring to the Unexpectables. But, oh. Yeah, wacky racers Fine, bullshit. Dude. <laughs> dude, Unexpectables and wacky racers? Let's go. That's just called SRB2K. Mm -hmm. All right, fair. Blackfoot Ferret. Oh, I just read that one. Zen Lead, I think of the 100 bits. If the juggernaut they killed is named Prospero, I swear to God. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> hmm. Classic literature. Rippington, thank you for the raid. Uh, Zen Lead, I think of the 100 bits. Episode title, Red Dead's Attention. Ooh, that's nice. Pretty cute. I do. So I do have a, a, a title to throw out there. I'm not the most creative guy in the world, but considering Mark's ending to that and the name of the thing, I thought marked for death could be interesting. Ooh. But I do love the, the Red Dead Redemption reference. That's also really good. We'll discuss. Indeed. <laughs> so what was that full title? I got to write that down. I'm going to forget uh, it. Red Dead's Attention. That's really good. Damn it. Who was that? It was Zen. Oh, fuck you, Zen. All right. That was really <laughs> good. Right. Wow. Really okay. Really through, through sheer spite alone, it's never getting used now. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I would use it. I would just be bitter about it. Continue. I apologize. Uh, Zanuk Mizana. Thank you for the 10 bits. That was crazy, epic, and even more insane save from Mark. I know. That was that's <laughs> and forever immortalized. I can't listen, believe listen, that happened. Clip it. Clip listen, it. Send please. it to Monty. <laughs> I, I can't Ray, Ray Cool. Ray Cool and Y Hakata are like ride or die. Dude, y'all yeah, not 20 the hell now. out of that. We I like Rimharl who? Ray's my new best friend. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it is a it is a one in four hundred chance to roll two in a row. The fact that you rolled three is insane. That's one in eight thousand. And that, oh. is the, that is the second documented uh, live on video instance on this channel of three natural 20s in a row. And Jesus. the last one was like, what, four years ago? Yeah, a long ass time ago. Uh, well, it's the Fuck you, one. Duchess. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking dick. Uh, Always nay saying. <laughs> Everything I create! Ace Bounty. Thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, What's Behind the Mask? Mm. Might give it away. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Tix thank you, thank you. Thank you for laughing. <laughs> no, it was good. <laughs> Pix Vixel, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> title suggestion, Beware the Red Death. Some people might think Tiengo stepped into Ravenloft. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Special Tiengo, like cameo. He is in Maybe. hell. He is super dead. He's a guy. Hmm. Burnout Vaughn, think of the 100 bits. So funny story, the two most bet on players were Mark and Cyfry, which might change next week. Thanks for the game, guys. Look forward to next week. <laughs> I imagine that because I have used up so much luck today alone. Oh, we're going to die uh, next time. Yeah, oh, you're I'm so dead. Like, the odds are going to be like two to one for me next well, week. 
I, I have this going for me. I hit that bitch with magic missile and disrupted her with an arrow when you when, did. So she she might be. You guys are me. you do do a really good job of pissing her off. That's for sure. Listen, my gonna... case is that Listen, I'm the she comic tried to character. drink. Yeah, no. So if I, I die, it's safe, it's right? Yeah, if, <laughs> if you die. Uh, you the have mood armor. We're going to go back yeah, to being exactly. sad all the time. <laughs> the, the, she tried to drink Waihakeda. I could not let that happen. Technically, I inhaled her and was on the worst high of my life. <laughs> Bro, you Technically. Quit vaping. Yo, you tried this. this red death shit. It's so strong, bro. Uh, this... This ain't sure. Why, why, Akeda comes out of, why Akeda comes out of the mist? Oh no, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Forever turned into a dude, bro. You know who else was taken by the mist? <laughs> my God. No, but it was though. <laughs> I can't even believe you. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Doing Duchess Dab. The timing was perfect. <laughs> Duchess Dabs. <laughs> you fan artists, you now have something to work oh, with. No, oh, my, oh, no. See, I, you, Bosco, you did such a good job keeping the suspense and the fear. That means the jokes are going to fly in the post game. Yeah. And then, then, then in, comes, in comes Zito, no fucks given. Why can't his muscle man? Why can't his muscle man? <laughs> <laughs> Oh Christ! <laughs> oh boy, Connor, keep Wolf going. Crew, We're gonna be here all night. Bit. What does a werewolf say before a one v one contest? Anything no. you can do, like and do better. I like uh, it. I like it. Shut up, Bosco. It's good. <laughs> Everything is funny now. Welcome to the giggle pit. <laughs> no, no. Welcome to the giggle pit. Ace Bounty, thank you for the one hundred bits. Therapod would have been, would have the most PG fans if only the holding hands thing was true. Also, love Sea of Stars as well. Yep, good game. Me, Tix Dixel, thank you for the 100 bits. Bosco, you're doing very well, and you've improved your spooky so much over the years. Echoing what Mark said, be proud of what you did tonight. Oh well, thank you. For real though. Miss Tweedums, thank you for the tier one sub gifted to the Citric King. And final. We've got Zanuk Mizana with the 10 bits. Honestly, thought someone was going to die tonight. Glad I didn't bet on it. Well, there's always... There's always uh, next tomorrow. session. That, tomorrow. that fireball. That fireball could have been scary. That's so I, I I will be real. I rolled really low on that fucking fireball. <laughs> Which the one? The first one. The first oh, one. Yeah, I didn't yeah, roll yeah. the second one because you guys avoided it. But yeah. the, the the, I was I'm like, not... man, I'm going to upcast the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, I'm not at full health. So if you. Oh, no, me, not me neither. Like, if you no. hit me with an upcast fireball, that might have. That might have done it. And yeah. again, if a fireball is big enough and it goes over your hit points, that's it. it. There is no hey, death not saving. Not at full like, health anymore. No. You have to. You, you you could have gotten out of it with an evasion save, but... Uh, I don't have evasion. That's level 7. I'm Do level 6. That's oh, the next that's level. Right. It's next level. That's why he wanted to level up, because he knows he oh, needs it. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. So you want to know the fun thing about that, though? Hmm. We, for we forced her to blow a couple of really high-level spells. Yeah, if True. only there yeah, wasn't well, a resting period before yeah, we fought her. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's take a long rest. <laughs> da, da, da. Also, you have no idea how many spell slots you have or what's once per day stuff. Bosco, you have no just, clue. Bosco, Bosco, just fucking say she's level 20, please. <laughs> that would be, we know okay. she's not level 20. We so, know she let me put it this way. Even if she was level 20, in order for you guys to fight her, there's going to have to be some kind of a mechanic that doesn't allow her to be a level 20. Because there's just no way. Here's so why the, I know she's yeah. not at level 20. Because she's only a lord of this domain. Yes. True. She does not control or have power even, over. Multiple just to give you an domains. idea, even Strahd's not a level twenty. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think a, a group of level twenty adventurers would beat the shit out of Strahd. We we would have been like, <laughs> oh, you took our cow. That's so funny. That's so Fuck cute. You. We're gonna take your head. Yeah. Also, your castle's and your ours coffin. now, by the way. To, to to kill me out right now, right now, you'd have to deal sixty eight damage in one uh, fire. Damn it. So, yeah. So, so close. Almost. Very oh, close. No. Damn it. Uh, if only I've been there. 
<laughs> I had to roll an upcast sleep just to put you to sleep for God's yeah. sake. Yeah. 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 And I almost just barely because I think you're what forty two is your max. Is, is sleep I mean, actually based on max? Or I yeah. It was so current hit. It's, well, it's I, I, it didn't. It it didn't specify in the spell. So I went based off max. So I upcast gotcha. it. Gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. It sleeps weird because it goes after hit dice. I believe. Yeah, it goes, it, well, it goes after, after your, your hit points. Hit points. Yeah. Hit but it doesn't point. specify yeah. current or max, so I gave you the benefit of the doubt. It's really yeah, yeah. Good uh, I believe gaps. it. I believe it is current. It's current. It's current. Well, then it would have definitely put you to sleep. Yeah, but yeah. I rolled you it like I needed eight or max. Yeah. Because I think you were at thirty-six. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Just get them really low and then sleep. Get them to like a quarter of their health and then upcast sleep. Indeed. Go to sleep. Well, go to sleep. Go to sleep. With that, that's all the bits and subs we have for this evening. Radical. Y'all chat, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys for, for tuning in. YouTube comments, I'll see you there. <laughs> but like, actually. Uh, uh, I have two people we could possibly go raid. Who do you got? Uh, at the lower number, we have Alfred, Paper Box House. And at the higher number, we have Octo Pimp. I do like Alfred. Alfred's Ray. pretty cool. Good. I'm yep. down with that, Paper Box House. Let's do it. All right, let's raid Alfred then. Really quick, Fallen RDG, thank you for the sub with Prime. I see yeah. you in chat. Yeah, we Snuck see you. Snuck it in there. Yeah, right what at the our, end. What should our raid message be? I'm just... Uh... Uh... Well, say, say One Piece fighting game in all caps. No, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we lived! We lived. <laughs> we lived oh very well. There you we go. Lived. We'll keep it simple. Hey, uh, I can do that joke. Can you? I can. All right. Because I was in the Lion King. What? <laughs> what? 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 He was what? there when it happened. Huh? Uh, don't quote yeah, the I Lion was, King to me. I was there I when, was it was there when it was written. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you oh, go back man. and watch the movie, I'm I'm in the crowd with the animals. Oh wow! All right. so cool. Get out of here, you crazy cats and dogs! <laughs> you met Mufasa? No, I, he died before I got.